is an infestation in my mind's imagination I hope and they choke on smokers, I'm smoking them at the basement This is not rap, this is not hip hop Just another attempt to make the voices stop rapping to prove nothing Just writing to say something Cause I wasn't the only one who wasn't rushing to say nothing This doesn't I mean I lost my dream, it's just right now I got a really crazy mind to clean Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RFC Live episode number 23. How are we doing today? Oh, I forgot to unmute on Discord. 
Hey, there we go. How are we doing? Episode 23. I'm your host, Augie RFC of Red Fox Comps, and joining me today is my co-host, Gamer J. Lee. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Let's talk about the mundane rat. Let's talk about mundane fat. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm pretty fat, too, and people call me mundane. <laughs> like, they say I look like the son of mundane Matt. The son of mundane Matt, here to... Uh... To, be, to behead his father. I mean, we're not going to say things that are terribly nice to our buddy, a mundane match. I never thought I'd say. I mean, let me just put the record straight. It's not like I was a diehard fan of mundane Matt, but I did. I, I enjoyed his content. I listened to it. And I probably yeah, exactly. still I probably still would enjoy his content if it weren't for the fact that he is a slithery, slimy snake. And I'm not saying that to uh, to mess with them. I mean that quite uh, quite seriously. He uh, Monday Matt. <sighs> you know, I watched the entirety of the Raw for Torch stream that he was on, and uh, I walked away from it thinking Matt is a bad person, but he he he's not with. He, it's not like uh, he's without redemption. He he can get through this if he plays his cards right. Then I watched the Kumite. And I came out of that thinking that Mundane Matt is a very, very, very uh, bad person. He, right. I, I know the whole bad person. I haven't meme. seen the Kumites. I haven't seen the Kumites thing yet. The only things I've watched are the original Ralph Retort. I watched the one with um, Mediker. I watched Mediker's video, mm. and then I've watched, you know, of course, Tommy C. As well as um, uh, I watched Tipster's video on uh, the whole situation, and he actually had some informative stuff in that video. I need to that... take a look at Tommy C and Tipster. I haven't seen them yet, which is surprising because Tommy you know... Tommy didn't really go too much. In. He just said he's disappointed in him. He doesn't. He doesn't like. He he doesn't like what he did. He he you know he he just kind of like. He's a pissed off with him and so on and so forth. He pushed it away. Tipster basically uh, came out with the f and I don't know if anyone else has come up on this, so maybe you can inform me um, if they have or have not. But he brought up the fact that these were not copyright claims; these were community guideline strikes. Correct? Tipster brought that up. Yeah, he brought that up. That these strikes that Matt Monday and Matt did to these uh, other content creators were community guideline strikes not copyright claims right i'm i'm pretty sure they talked about that on the raw for tour because he, the problem. He, he tried to back away he tried to be like oh it's not going to be there and they're like no 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 it's not a copyright it's a community strike so if it's you a strike it's going to show them. up in your history and... and also you can't you can't you can't retract them you can't no there's no way to retract them so even if he wanted to say he's sorry and get rid of these community guideline strikes. There is no way to do that from what Tipster said. And I believe Tipster pretty well. The thing is, is that when it comes to the whole thing, is that basically if he can't, you know, refute these claims, he just took away a lot of revenue from many different people. He took it away from Ralph Retort. He took it away from, uh, you know, the Morning Kumite. You know, because they, they've had to keep making channels because mm. if they can't live stream, that's taking away their revenue. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Um, But I don't want... I, I would go into this, but I want to uh, sort of provide... Uh, or do you want to provide... Because, like, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, this has been a widespread issue, and I have not taken this much interest in a YouTube a drama story since Content Cop Jake Paul came out. This story, I've just been feeding into this mundane Matt content because this is such an interesting... Yeah. You know, it, this is it, such an interesting exactly. story. I mean, um By the way, I'm getting some lag on your voice on my end. I don't know why. Is it is it coming um, off as bad? Um, um let me look at the voice com real look, quick here. I'm looking at I've got sixteen MS, so I should be good. It's, hey, it's probably it's probably me. I'm gonna try and do a control R on Discord. I'll be right back. Alright, alright, alright. Take care, dude. Just Take care of that other story real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to provide some shouts in the chat. Doctor Chivaco, hey, 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 bud, what's up? Um, I recognize you from uh, Tommy C stream. So what's up, dude? Joy Con J. We got, of course, Mad Bomber, 
sm.vtv. We got uh, Thomas and Sonic. We got David. We've got Jason. We've got Gamer J Lee. We got everyone. Everyone's here now. If you guys are wondering where the other co-hosts of the show are, that being um, uh, what's her name? <laughs> I I died. Uh, ben and Connor. Ben and Connor. Well, Connor and Ben are both coming home uh, from work and stuff, and they'll be here in like ten minutes, maybe. So anyway, uh, with that being said, um we got two stories in the show today and i'm f- figuring out wh- what are we gonna do first because we got to talk about ninja and mundane mad do should we, should we, i i'm thinking that we you know we started the show off with monday mad i'm thinking we should continue on that road and then we'll touch up on ninja later what do you think well i i can go on on my whole thing about i have mundane a feeling mad. with ninja uh our boy ben is gonna have some choice words because ben hates ninja's guts so i think we should wait for him to come on before we get to the ninja thing I think okay. we should uh, go on with the money because, thing. Uh, like, okay, th- that's the thing that I'm I'm gonna probably have to I'm gonna probably have to be on the defensive ninja with mm-hmm. the whole like the whole is it the woman thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm not gonna okay. stream with Twitch thoughts or something. He didn't say that. I'm just right, I'm just, exactly. Yeah. That that's well, and the thing is, is like I'll go over that with, and I'm sure there'll be like a baited debate. Um, mm-hmm. here's a quick quick question, Augie. Could we go into a call? Because uh, it, I don't know why it won't. It, no matter what I do, it's it's not it's not giving you. Yeah, I even did a control R reset, which is the hard R. Uh, all right, we'll go into call. All right, let me hop into a call real fast. Are you there? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. How do I sound? All right, you're you're perfectly clear. Perfect. I don't know what's going on with the server. All right, server. should we should we go hop in the other RFC thing? Uh, so that the others aren't confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go in there. All right. Uh, let me start voice call. Okay. All right, we're good to go. All right. Uh, so I just... might accidentally call them. All yeah. right. So let's talk about mundane fat. Mundane All right. Who mass. wants to? Uh, who wants to tell the whole entire story? Um, I guess I can. For the right. for the most part, I guess I can. So go over ahead. The past couple of months, basically, a lot of people have kind of had the um theory just a theory that monday and mad had been copyright not copyright claiming but community guideline claiming people's channels right basically it was getting to the point where every time his name was mentioned like five minutes later there was a a claim or a or a report right mm-hmm. that got a lot of people thinking so as soon as this this stream that happened on the Ralph Retort, and I believe what they were, were they suggesting that he was a pedophile or something like that? No, I, no, I, no, they didn't. They didn't okay, go because I, I I, heard so, someone mention that they were saying that he was a pedophile or something like that. Basically, the Ralph Retort stream goes down as soon as they mention Mundane Matt. Five minutes later, Matt's on Twitter saying, Oh, I was, I, uh, what did I get accused of doing? I was out collecting boulders with my infant child. <laughs> he was out and collecting river rocks. <laughs> river, river rocks. Yes. At what? Like what? Nine? Yeah. Nine, because, you know, nine? we all have had that experience you now where, you know, we went out with our dads, you know, one, uh, one Thursday night, you know, collecting, uh, rocks by the seashore to take yes. home. I, yes, exactly. You, if you haven't done that with your dad, you're not a true son. All right, I'm just throwing that out there. The, the, those times are the best. But, yes. Uh, so basically, what happens is he gets on the Ralph retort, and everyone starts just dogpiling on him, saying, "Look, you motherfucker, we know you're doing this, and you know why the fuck are you doing this?" He's like, "I'm not. I'm not doing shit. I'm not. I'm not doing a thing," and. Basically, I I don't know the exact name of the, I think it was Mediger, right? He he brought up the fact, hey, I've got this link, and if I hand you this link and you go to it, and there's no it was claims it was right actually there, Zidane, uh, one of Ralph's friends. Okay, Zidane hands him this link and says, if there's no claims in there, then we're fine. There there, there shouldn't be any claims, you know, if, if you're completely innocent. And mm. Matt stalls. For thirty fucking minutes. Oh yes, the moment Sudan brought minutes. it up, and King dead King 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 silence. Keemstar's getting pissed off. He's like, "Hurry up, you stupid motherfucker!" Yeah, come yeah. on. 
Right, and he's just going off. Keem is pissed off, and he wants to hear it. He's like, fuck this. I'm out of here. He's not going to do it. He's a fucking pussy, blah, 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 blah. So Keem sort of leaves for a little bit, and Matt finally pipes up. He just says, so before I do this, I need to say something because I know I'm going to get shit for a really long time. And everyone just goes, oh, shit. <laughs> because we all know he's fucked. Mm. We all know he's fucked. And I hadn't seen this stream until the next day, just to give you guys a little bit of clarification, because I don't watch um I don't watch Ralph Tori. I don't watch the morning Kuma. I didn't I don't watch, watch them at first. Of... Now I'm a day I'm gonna be a listener all the time now. Right. It, exactly. It's kind of like those addictive things. Yeah. Um the the main thing is is that whenever he does this, basically everyone just goes off on him. And you can tell he he Either A, he's that kind of an evil person where he just wants, you know, everyone to shove about him and he thinks he's better than everyone else, but he can't take the criticism, which makes you a big fucking hypocrite, Matt. Mm -hmm. Mundane, Matt. It makes you a giant fucking hypocrite because you go on your fucking YouTube videos and say no one is fucking avoidable of criticism. No one is able to avoid criticism, yet your fat fucking ass can't take it. And yet you go and you sit there, you stupid motherfucker. You sit there and you say, oh, go support my Patreon. Go support it because I'm one of the truest sources for news. Yet, you won't be a fucking man and go and make the right decision to get a fucking job to support your family. And you say, oh, I need this money, but if people talk shit about me, I'm going to lose it. So you go instead of getting a job like a fucking normal person would. Because if I was doing YouTube full time and I knew it couldn't support my family, I couldn't support my wife, I couldn't support my fucking kid. I would go out and I would pound the payment and get a fucking job. You son of a bitch. And what? the reason why I'm so <laughs> fucked up is because I was a viewer of Monday Night. I listened to him. Thank you so much, David, me. for becoming a, a YouTube sponsor. I really appreciate Thank you, that. David. But basically, I go and I am sitting there and I, I just couldn't believe it. And, and that's what pisses me off because I actually trusted Matt Jarbo. I thought he was a good dude. And, you know, yes, he's a boring motherfucker he is boring as hell he has no kind of of characteristics that are even different from anyone else he is boring as hell i thought you i thought i thought you were a, a daily listener of mundane matt i was until i found this out i was a daily listener until i found this out about him you know i was a i did enjoy his content because it it was it was news that no one else was talking about. Am I right? Um. Yeah. I, I there was a lot of here's the top. here's the thing about mundane Matt. Right? Is that uh, mundane Matt? Basically, his whole gimmick on what he does is essentially what Monday Matt will do. He'll take news stories he sees and reread them and provide stellar reactions. And right. the thing is, it's like. You know, I hate when people are like, oh, your content is bad. I'm like, I don't care. The thing with Monday Matt is his content is really nothing special. In fact, um, uh, you know, with Monday Matt's content, you know, he maybe occasionally he'll make a video that you uh, enjoy listening to. And that I was a casual listener of Monday and Matt. No way I was right. listening through all those videos. The thing about Matt is his, his strategy on YouTube is to spit out like five videos a day. And hope that mm -hmm. one he, of them. He's dark side Phil. He's dark yeah. side fucking Phil. Because and his content is Every... his content is even less effort than a Let's Play channel. Because at least with a Let's Play, you have to sit there and play the game. He'll sit there. He'll go on Judge Report. He'll see. Oh, what's the story? Oh, a uh, teacher rapes a kid. All right, well, let's make a video about that. Oh my gosh, guys, this teacher raped this kid. Isn't that crazy? Oh, video right. done. Upload. Do that four more times. Hope one of those catches on recommended. And now, right. guess what? I've got money for my kid. It's not the best content. Let's just put it that way. That well, way. And, and let me let me say this, right? Basically, everyone wants to give Dark Side like here's the thing. Everyone wants to give Dark Side Phil shit because he is a he's a dumbass. Mm -hmm. He he's a dumb piece of shit who basically he got 
popular on the internet because he got angry or did something really fucking stupid like masturbated on live stream and <laughs> Who so doesn't? on and so forth. <laughs> Oh right. my gosh. By the way, welcome to the stream, Ben. Uh, we're just doing it here because Jay Lee's Discord is acting up in the main thing. So yeah. We're probably going to move back when we take calls, but for now, while we're doing the actual show's right. segment. Anyway. But basically, what it is, is that, you know, he he basically is Dark Side Phil, but worse. Mm. And the reason why is because Dark Side Phil, I've never seen or heard of Dark Side Phil uh, you know guideline striking someone unless like for example they were re-uploading his content like entirely that's the only time i've ever heard him doing any kind of guideline strike against him or copyright claim you know what i mean mm -hmm. this was just because they were criticizing him because they were making fun of him like it, it was satire he got upset and wanted to shut them down he basically pulled uh you know like everyone you know this makes him look more evil than fucking keemstar what do you mean yeah Keemstar's the greatest well like here's the thing i don't i don't have any problems with keemstar as of now the uh the thing is right is now like, i've got no problems with keem but like there was a time where he i'll was tell you after really watching the ralph retort i think i my my respect for keem has skyrocketed did you oh, hear i, I would stream? agree do we want to watch agree. some of that because i think a cognitive thought posted a clip uh or like a montage thought. video of uh keem star well also i want to bring up i want to also bring up one more thing and um well yeah we're not we're not done talking about the story yet yeah but yeah, yeah. go ahead but yeah. um, I'm going to bring up Monday Matt's fucking shit show of an apology. Now, he didn't post this apology on Twitter. He, he did that little one, right? You know, tagging everyone that he screwed over, mm -hmm. you know? He posted this apology. I'm going to bring it up, and it's probably going to be in my video, on Tumblr. Not on YouTube. Hell yeah. Even, he posted on fucking Tumblr. What a man. man. Yeah, well, and and th this is the I'm gonna read um, his apology because it, it's a joke. Oh, I, I haven't like... I haven't read it yet, so this is gonna be my live reaction. Okay, so the title of Monday Matt's apology is "I apologize." Hi everyone, I want to begin by saying that I appreciate your patience with my silence these past few days. I wanted to take some time to reflect on the situation. Take some time to reflect. Now keep in mind, when this apology came out, he had already uploaded like three or five times. Uh, like sex. Yeah. Sex. <laughs> yes. No, he, he's uploaded like six or seven videos at that time. And let me continue though. Reflect on the situation before making a public statement. First thing first, I'd like to apologize for the videos I reported for bullying and harassment. It was wrong <laughs> for me to do. I made a human error, and I human deeply error. regret my Just actions. Just a human error. How is that a human error? That's not fucking human error. That's not a human error. That's you being a pussy bitch who couldn't take criticism. And, and here's the thing. I have a guy who hates my guts and has made... Three Thank you, David, for the four dollars for the YouTube super chat. He says, "Watch Matt's 100K video, perfect for reactions." We will do that uh, yes. shortly. Wait, but, where's my cut of the four dollars? You don't get it. It's mine. Shh, they don't know that. <laughs> but as I was saying, the thing is, I've got a guy who makes three-hour-long live stream responses to me because I I mentioned him, and basically, he. Uh, like you don't see me going when this guy called me an inbred and all this other shit and a retard and all this crap you don't see me going and striking down his content mm -hmm. you know what I mean because you're so, an actual man and it doesn't get to your skin do you know what there, there was a time when things got to me but I would never consider reporting someone even when it's gotten to me I never considered I'm going to shut this person down. I'm going to take down this person. I never would consider doing something like that. Because the thing is, I believe in freedom of speech. As long as you're not slandering me and basically making false allegations about me, I don't give a shit. You know, call me a fat cunt. Call me a fucking boring bastard. Call me whatever the fuck you want. But, mm. you know, I don't give a shit. You know? Yeah. But because... let's get back to the apology. Okay. There is no excuse for reporting critical videos. YouTube is a space that is for all sorts of expressions and being critical of someone you disagree with is probably the most important form of expression the platform allows. Yet you went 
and claimed and shut down a number uh, of channels Matt. from live streaming. Uh, uh, mundane geez. Matt. Yeah. Uh, let's continue. Uh, do, do, do. I do believe in free speech. No, you don't. Don't be a liar. And free expression. No, you don't. Don't be a liar. And my actions. This is a actually... guy. This is a guy that fights for this stuff, yet is against it on his own private time because he lets words on the internet get to his uh, deflate his ego or whatever, whatever it is. Then he goes and takes away the speech from others, or at least attempts it. You have to remember, he striked the Ralph retort because they were laughing at his funny uh, racist comedy that uh, Mr. Medicare exposed. Guess what? Matt didn't like that, so he decided to strike them so that they wouldn't do the stream and laugh about them. Guess what? They went on Scratch Point's channel and they got twice the viewers. 2,600 people at its peak. Right, exactly. On you a 6,000 sub channel, half of the people sub to that channel were tuned in live to watch Monday Matt's funny attempt uh, or unfunny attempt at racist comedy. Matt, yeah. you made a video where you said the N word in it. Just own up to it. All right? It's not even that bad. All right? Keemstar owned up to calling Alex the N word in it. Keemstar owned up to it. him being legitimately racist. You think you can't own up to something that you say, oh, I actually said the N word in a joke? Come on, Matt. It's not even that big of a deal. And those guys who were making that video, they weren't attempting to uh, take down Matt and say, like, oh, Matt is such a horrible person. He made a joke with the N word in they it. Were making a, they were making they fun were of They were goofing it. It on him. It was satire. I mean, yeah, Matt's pay, Matt's video where he was talking, uh, Pulley the Polar Bear, where he was talking about the N-word, was a satire piece. And guess what? The Ralph retort was talk about it, like, to just laugh at it, just sit here. Yesterday, I did a video on Gab, right? And it's this website uh, that has it, a lot of racist, uh, alt-right uh, tweets and stuff. And I looked at them, and I laughed at it. Do you think I had, a, like, a vendetta against those people or something where I wanted to hurt them or something? I was sitting there laughing at it, right? Now, I was disgusted at it, but I was also laughing at it. Look, Matt, just own up to it. I mean, what all of all you did was say the N word in a and talk about it in a racist sense. So what? Who cares? All right. This is 2018. Like, well, like for example, the whole like ninja thing where ninja mm -hmm. was doing the rap and he slipped, stumbled <laughs> and said, you know, you know, my ninja, yeah. you know, <laughs> like the, the thing is, is like, I did a video on that. I said, look, he was rapping, he stumbled, and either if he meant Inica, like what Real Talk said, mm -hmm. or if he meant N-word, I don't care. Because what's the matter, it wasn't what's like the matter Jay Lee? You don't want to say it? You don't want to end up in a Ralph tour? I don't want to also... <laughs> Fuck off, okay? Fuck off. <laughs> what what, what's, say, what do word? Do you want to get demonetized? Do you want to get mon de demonetized? Our song gets demonetized every week because we use copyrighted music. Well, I'm not gonna get you even more de demonetized. And maybe you shouldn't use copyright music. You <laughs> it's self-induced, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but let's continue on. So throughout this entire apology, we've only got a few more paragraphs to go. I would like to also address the accusation that I've been leading a mass flagging campaign against all critical commentary of me. This is simply false. Why should we believe you? Why should we believe you? You know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like... Th this accusation came out after the fact, right? After the whole ex uh, you know thing came out that he was flagging people still. Now... Is there any proof of this? I don't think so. I think that, you know, this... I don't think it would be smart of him to de continue to flag people after he did it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. How, why should I believe him? Why should I trust him after he lied to our faces during, you know, a two-hour, three-hour live stream? Why should we trust him? Many of you have been asking if I plan to quit YouTube... And I do not. This is my home. I love what I do, and I love that I get to do it every day. My mistakes are mine to own. And going forward, all I can do is work very hard and be a better person, which is exactly what I'm doing. Complete okay. bullshit. Yes, e exactly. And what I'm going to say to this is quit YouTube, take a break, step away, Get a job, support your family, because they are the most important thing in your life, Matt. They are the most important thing to you, and they should be. Not your fucking little e-fame bullshit. 
<laughs> if okay, let's say this. Let's say this. Let's say tomorrow my girlfriend came to me and said, I'm pregnant. I would say, <laughs> I'm going to get another job. I'm going to save up as much money as I I'm can. Gonna I'm gonna strike you. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna cop I'm gonna community guidelines gonna strike you. Fucking hit you in the stomach with a fucking baseball bat. You know? <laughs> well, okay, that might be your response, Panda. <laughs> But dude, who wouldn't? If that happens, oh, uh, we're gonna get a strike this... now because you're saying violence. <laughs> oh, God I mean, damn it! If Panda. Matt doesn't already strike us already, I'm surprised we're we're still in the air right now. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, I would be a man and take care of my family first. Fill him up, dude. All of he cares about is his fucking little e fame and what he's got left of it. Even though he's bled, maybe like what. Uh, I think it's like now to 12,000 subs already. He's bled like 12,000 subs. Because he was at 62,000 before this happened. I'm curious. Let's let's look He that was up. at 62,000 before this happened. But while you're looking that up, and maybe you can show the wonderful viewers at home, I'll finish this terrible apology. And then I'm going to give my take on what the apology should have been. I understand that my decision to report those videos for harassment and bullying was given many a reason to lose their trust in me. No shit. All I can do is work hard to regain that trust. You never will. And it will be a long road, but one that I'm prepared to travel. Thank you to all my friends, family, and subscribers for their continued support. I appreciate Thank you, Matt Jarbo. Or Matt Garbo, as I like to call him. But... Matt. Mundane Matt. Yeah, because, like, since this happened, he's bled, like, 12,000 subs. Because I remember before this started, he was at 62,000. 162,000. And now he's down to what? What is he down to? Uh, I'm loading up right now. My Chrome crashed, so I'm reloading it right now. But uh, yeah. it's not good, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'll show you more specifically what I mean in a second here. It's not, it's not good. All right. Well, yeah, and it's going to continue until he actually puts the apology on YouTube. And it doesn't need to be this buttery-ass apology. Uh, his if Tumblr apology was terrible. And let me say, the moment it came out, it, it was so bad for a multitude of reasons. Because first off, all right, he said, uh, uh, he said uh, oh, I'm going to be apologizing to Tonka Saw to uh that was his twitter apology to, oh 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 that's what that's the deal now oh so, so he, he had a you twitter already apology apologized on you he apologized on august 9th and then he uploaded three videos didn't well okay he's uploading more than that i'm just gonna say that now he uploaded more than that because this you know the last tweet he put up was six days before this apology tweet and i i continue to watch because i want to see if he did an apology there was no fucking apology and what needs to happen is he needed to put that on youtube and what he needs to do is say i'm taking a break i'm going away for a while i'm going to get help and i'm going to be a man i'm going to take care of my family first and then i might come back whenever my mind's straight all right i have it loaded right here all right let's like uh oh monday matt let's see how many subs you've lost about as well eight thousand eight hundred and more to come wow I thought it was more than that because, honestly, I remember him being at sixty-two thousand. Was he down to now? One fifty-one thousand. Oh, okay, so he's close. He's wait. Close. Those numbers aren't even accurate. They haven't even caught up yet. He's lost about like ten thousand. I remember. I remember sixty. I remember sixty-two thousand was where yeah. he was at before this happened. Yeah. You know, but like, see, that that's the thing. If I was Matt, this is what my apology would be. Hey guys, Matt Jarbo here, and as you guys all may know. I have totally fucked up my life. I was a little soy boy pussy piece of shit <laughs> who decided to go and take down criticisms of me mm. and not be able to be a man. And instead of all the things I said on my videos, on my live streams of, you know, I believe in, you know, freedom to criticize, yada, yada, yada. Mm. I was a bitch. I was a bitch. And I decided to just go and hide and lie to all these people and even strike people that I called my friend and, and I gotta go just starts crying and fucking turns off the camera like that would be he, the best apology and he needs to give Tonka the play button he, he needs he, Monday <laughs> Matt needs to go away for a while 
you know, he does need to go away for a while. And that to me is what is going to help him because here's the thing. If he cares more about his E fame, than basically anything else, then he does not deserve anyone's attention. Mm. You know, be a human. You weren't even, it's just, it's sad. It's sad because I actually liked him. Same. And yeah, I actually liked him. And it's sad to think that someone who I actually enjoyed watching has, you know, slumped so low. And the fact that he lied about this for like, what was it? Months or years? Years. Really? Mm -hmm. And supposedly there was more info that's come out about this. Like I, I heard people mentioning other things, but like nothing, like everyone kept saying, oh, there's other things that happened now. And like, okay, what happened? No one would say. Yeah. Cause they're fucking betas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, wh why you got your social blade up? Oh, ha, ha, yeah, exactly. Monday, Matt and me share something in common. Uh, what the fuck our, are you talking about, bitch? Our social blades. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I'll just put mine up here for now. <laughs> look at that. What's 131 today? Nice. <laughs> dude, flexing on freaking me, dude. Flexing on the haters, am I right? I mean, at least I'm in the position to lose that many subs. Like, I've lost, like, 12 binge channels today alone so yeah um yeah. no in all seriousness though guys that's how you know it's bad yeah <laughs> in all seriousness go uh though guys uh monday matt uh here's what i think he should do not be a fucking beta i mean he's he's drove he's driven himself into the ground and we're gonna be watching the clips later just to show that but monday matt uh, there's really nothing left. I think uh, you need to do what the quartering told you to do and uh, get a job and leave YouTube. Right, exactly. I'm not saying I want to censor you. I'm saying I'm recommending there's nothing left on YouTube you can do. You've thrown away your credibility. You've, you're have you not funny. You're not entertaining. You don't have any credibility. Nobody has any reason to listen to you or any reason to believe what you're saying. Or trust What you. left do you have to do unless you have some sort of a hidden talent? Unless you have some sort of a, uh, a uh, comedical something? What do you have left? I mean, I'm, I I'm sitting here like thinking, what do I do? What does he do? Augie, I know what he needs to do to bring back his career. What? He needs to bring back Polly the Polar Bear. Yeah, right, let's go. Back, tape, Teach me what the N-word means. Yes, exactly. Because Bring back Polly the Racist real, Polar Polly Bear. The poli Polly the Racist Polar Bear was probably <laughs> more entertaining than all of his content combined. He yes. needs to become a porn star, dude. That's what he needs to That's do. That's the only thing. Bingo! We figured it out. Matt, I know you're listening because you have Google Alerts, so you get notified every time a video goes up with your name, and we have the name in your... T you're here right now, Matt. You're listening. Listen to <laughs> X-Panda. You have one career option left. And it's pretty fun too. <laughs> yeah. Except it's pretty brutal since you're a dude, so just be just be aware of that. Yeah. I mean, he took. I think fun. it's not as brutal as going on the Ralph tour. I mean, dude, they tore him apart. Dude, I mean, take it from me, dude. Take it from me, dude. Yeah, okay. Ben knows. All right. He 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 gave it. He gave the YouTube run a shot. He just wasn't up for it, and he uh, in the process he found his. Uh, his so I made my own films. Yeah. So he made his own his own <laughs> videos. His own uh, collaboration projects. I don't want him to be <laughs> off the platform. You know, I I, I don't, don't want, want him to be off either. But I'm saying, like, what more does he have to do? He needs to go away because w the worst mistake he made, even worse than you know doing this this whole uh, claiming right. The worst thing he did was act like it never happened and went back to work. That's the worst thing he did, yeah. in my opinion. Because the thing that should have happened is he should have made a video saying, I'm going away for a while. Obviously, I made a, ma a major mistake. I need to go focus on life, focus on what matters most to me, and not worry about my e-fame. I need to take responsibility, make sure my family's you know taken care of. And you know what? It, it might be a situation... Like, um, 
For example, uh, what what the fuck's that washed up Call of Duty YouTuber's name? Um, oh yeah. We no, no, no. <laughs> Shut the no. Wings of Redemption. <laughs> Wings of Redemption. Yes, that dude has to stream. And it, it, I watched Tommy's stream on it. It was fucking. Oh, it was great, but I felt so bad for Wings. Oh well, Even... no shit. You feel sorry for the son of a bitch. But the thing is, is that Tommy's right. He can't stop going. Because if not, he's screwed. Matt isn't an obese, broken, boogie knockoff. He looks like he could be. He's like he... fat, depressed Philip DeFranco. No, he's fat, depressed, dark side Phil. Um, well, it's like Philip DeFranco, but he makes even worse content. He fence lines even harder. And he talks about stuff that no one really cares about. He, it, mundane Matt. Honestly, like when it comes to Philip DeFranco and mundane Matt... They're about equal when it comes to fence and sitting and, you know, saying their opinion. Like, for example, Monday Matt, if it, the person's a pedophile, saying he'll say, I want to curb stomp them. If Monday Matt, you know, deals with a pedophile, he's like, they should rot in hell. And then if if it's something that, like, could go either way, they're just like, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section down below because this is a discussion. <laughs> this is a discussion. Fuck me. Phil exactly. DeFranco. Failure but, to Franca. So, Panda. Panda oh, no. Ben, ben. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Augie was informing me that you have a problem with the whole ninja situation. So should we Oh, move on to fuck me. Okay. All right. Should let me, let me set the narrative here if we're switching to ninja. So, basically, a while ago, ninja was on stream and someone was like, oh, you should stream with this Twitch thought. And he was like, no, I don't stream with girls. Uh, and his reasoning was because... If he streams with a girl and she giggles a little bit, or there's a joke that's made, it's a little moist. It gets a, <laughs> yeah, it gets a little moist. <laughs> then all of a sudden, fifty videos come out instantly saying Ninja's flirting with his girl, and because Ninja has yeah, a wife, dude. he doesn't want his wife to feel uncomfortable. Dude, and... Ninja rape, dude. Exactly. So, basically, in the whole situation. <laughs> Everyone uh, had a lot of thoughts to say. Most people were supportive of Ninja's choice. I came out with my tweet and I was like, Ninja is a child. Uh, just because you stream with a girl doesn't mean like, you know, you're trying to get with her. All right. Like the, like the, to me, like Ninja's just being like a, a little child here. Like, I, but then I listened to Tommy's stream and he was saying like, we don't know the full situation between Ninja and his wife. Maybe she's uncomfortable with this. Maybe he just didn't want to throw her under the bus or anything. He didn't want to send her any hate or something. In my opinion, based on what we know right now, we don't know the situation between him and his wife. Ninja's being a bit of a kid, uh, and he needs to grow up. But uh, Ben specifically hates Ninja's guts. I don't know if you know this, guys, but Ben despises Ninja so much. So I want to hear what Ben thinks of this whole Ninja situation. Okay, I want to hear what it is, too, because, you know, it sounds like I'm going to disagree with both David of you guys. David said in the chat, Ninja said himself that it's 100% his decision, and then he's a kid and he needs to grow up. Okay, so fucking okay. So first of all, what I want to say is then just fake as fuck and it's not entertaining. Just so I can get that on my system. Okay, yeah, I I agree with that. He is a character, just like Doctor Disrespect and Dark Side Phil. Yes. Okay, so basically, like, in my opinion, okay, if I was Ninja sitting there streaming like all day and I'm gonna die from like fucking. Like, sitting on my ass all day for 22 hours when I turn 30, okay? Uh, and you get fucking heart disease, okay? Here's the reason why you should, okay? So you have all these freaking teenagers, right? And they're all sitting there watching, okay? So how are they going to explain to their parents, right? That they're they're sitting there watching Ninja, right? The parents are like, okay, that's fine. But if they're sitting there watching some freaking E-Thought with their freaking ass, like, smeared on the screen, right? How are they going to justify that? They're going to be like, no, give me your computer. You're gonna be fucked for the rest of your life until you turn thirty. Okay. <laughs> oh my. So, God. I'm very confused by his his argument. It's just fucking stupid. Okay. It's your it's... argument is not very like put together. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Here's the thing, right? If he wanted more viewers, which I'm saying I, I don't know how he could squeeze more viewers out, but I don't think. Okay, l let me just say this because you're saying it's more viewers. That's yeah, what, that's what he wants. 
I I'm not saying he, that's what he wants. I'm saying he could get more viewers if he tried. Right, but I don't think that – I think he's good. I think he doesn't care. It's like he's going to continue to grow with or without the women, you know? He's going to grow no matter what. You and only grow thing. in one place with women unless you're fucking gay or asexual. <laughs> that was a terrible joke going on. <laughs> yeah, that, that was <laughs> fucking that was great, girl. dude. That was a garbo joke. No, it was the, fucking the thing, great. The thing with Ninja is I agree with Tommy. Like, the thing is, is like – if you are in a relationship, you know, sometimes it is that way. I hang out with girls. I have friends that are girls. But the thing is, if I was as big as Ninja, I wouldn't want hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of other people messaging my wife, messaging, you know, mm. whoever, saying, he's cheating on you. I have this. Oh, I remember I was watching Tommy's stream and he was like one time this guy messaged him and was like, Hey, you know, uh you're, you're you know Tommy like uh flirts with other women uh and he's cheating on you or something, like trying to mess with Tommy or something. I was like, dude, that's right. so right. messed up. It's exactly like, and then Tommy was like, dude, my wife's sitting right in the other room. She can hear everything I say, you idiot. Right. So it's like exactly. fail. The, the, right, exactly. The thing is though, is why have that like even if you know, like, for example, Tommy has his wife right next door in the living room with their kids, right? And they're just if, fucking plounded. Right. What if, like, basically <laughs> things get taken out of contest? It can, it can cause strain on a relationship. Mm. I have had relationships where, yeah, I've had female fans or, you know, female players play Halo with me or something. And then literally because of that... And because of that, my girlfriend thought I was either flirting with them or being too kind or whatever. It's like, why? Like, too why kind. That? <laughs> yeah. That's a first. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, basically people yeah. come off as it's playfully flirting, you know? Yeah, exactly. But here's the thing, right? And, like, uh, my friend Jamie put this in the chat. She's like, if you have a stable marriage, why would you care about uh, accusations? It's like, yeah, in my opinion, look, believe it or not, I know this is hard to say, but a guy and a girl around the same age playing a video game doesn't mean that either of them are trying to get into each other. All right? I'm just well, throwing no, that I, out there. I, I totally fucking agree. climbing each I other, totally dude. Thank you. <laughs> Even, so even it's like, do... in my opinion, Ninja's just sitting here. He's like, oh, no women allowed. You know, um, you know, I just want to make sure I'm faithful to my wife. All right, cool. But it's stupid. <laughs> well, what the fuck did he think he was doing while playing these games? That's the real question. Like, wh um, what? I feel like he thinks, like, uh, are you guys familiar with, like, who Pokemon is? Yeah. All right. I have so no clue here's that, here's the that here's is. the story behind her, right? So she streams with uh, Myth, and they do Fortnite, right? And so she's like, uh, she's like this uh, Twitch thought, right? And so you know, she's like this whole like cute gamer girl persona. And when she streams with Ninja, or sorry, uh, with Myth, you know, she's like, uh, she's laughing, she's cracking jokes, she's really playing it up so that people will think, oh, she's trying to get with Myth, and then it creates this whole sort of uh, shipping culture or something. It's kind of weird. I feel like yeah, Ninja, I feel like Ninja yeah. thinks like every Twitch streamer is like Pokimane, where they're trying to do this and stuff. Ninja, believe it or not, I mean. Uh, uh, it, it might come to you as a surprise considering you're ninja, but not every girl you meet is going to want to get with you. Uh, it's crazy thought, I know. I know. But uh, this is just really weird. I think uh, I think this whole situation is just really, really weird. Well, but, yeah. I mean, that's just my opinion. Like, Well, no, and I here's the thing. Do I think that it's mandatory that he does this? No, I I, I don't think he has way. to play with women. I, he can do whatever he wants in a stream. I'm just I'm just sitting here saying that's kind of weird, bro. Like I'm not gonna stream with women because I don't want to be accused of flirting. With them. That's really weird, bro. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, it's just it's unnecessary stress. It's unnecessary stress to have to deal with this like backlash because now like Keemstar or you know some you know fucking uh what what what's Dude, that fucking is the candy pen. If faggot. you have a stable relationship um, with your wife, she should know that when Keemstar does a drama alert or something like ninja flirting, that that's not true. I mean, there should be some sort of, in my opinion at least, there should be some sort of uh trust thing going on there, and there probably is. I'm. 
there's a lot we don't know about the situation. I'm just looking at what we do know, and to me, it just looks like Ninja's being a bit of a weirdo. Well, think about it, right? His streaming schedule is basically going to make it where he's going to spend more time with some fucking random-ass girl over the internet than with her. Think yeah. about it. Well, yeah, because he does stream, like, 15 exactly. hours a day. Yeah, he, instre- he streams insane amount, which the dude... Uh, like I'm sorry, Ninja. He's Go gonna, eat a fucking cheeseburger, please. He's gonna for the die. Love of he's God. Like, he has ten million. He should be taking time off. Like he's gonna he's gonna have a heart attack. Well, dude, remember what happened last time? He took a a fucking day off. He lost like a fuck ton of subs and shit. Did he and actually? Followers. Yes, the, oh, it, it was probably, a big. It was it was a news Ninja's story. Made so much that like who cares? I, I know, I but know. like because he he decided to stream for decided not to stream for one day out of his schedule. People lost their fucking shit. It, it was crazy from what Shivaga I says he knows exactly how people are going to take it out of context hey, and turn uh, new fans away. But, like, he's made so much of an audience already. How much more does he need? I mean, in my opinion, I, if I were Ninja, I'd be taking it back a notch. Like, I've, I've completed the grind. I've gotten to here I am. G- good enough. Maybe Ninja wants... I, I, there's just a lot I don't get about this. He's, it's weird. But, I, I think it's just he's afraid to get taken out of context. He's afraid. Maybe he cares more of, about what internet people think about him than we do. Like, I probably, do not care. But maybe, prob- like, a guy like Ninja, he's, like, more sensitive to that. Maybe he's, like, Monday Matt. Who knows? <laughs> you, you never know. You never know until they fall <laughs> apart. Like, look at Dark Side Phil. He's like, I don't yeah. give a fuck what these guys say about me. Uh, I don't give a fuck. And then he, he just gets pissed off and bans everyone and fucking mm-hmm. accuses everyone of, you know, doxing him and everything. So, anyways. <laughs> the guy who spends 12 hours of his day playing Fortnite refuses to talk to women with a beta cuck. <laughs> David, that's awesome. Madison says, "I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be honest. I mean, it's not really. I'm just sit- I, like, look, it's not a big deal in my opinion. I just like calling the guy a weirdo because I'm not a big fan of Ninja. So, well, if I- I'm not. Trust me, I'm not a big fan of him either. I find like, oh, I'm not, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a fan of his content, but I'll, I'd also like not particularly fond of his character as well. So for me, it's just another opportunity to goof at Ninja, which I will take okay. gladly. <laughs> well, and, and the thing for me is, I'm not a fan of his." character i'm a fan of his grind and how hard he's working oh that i absolutely respect uh and that's like exactly the biggest thing that i admired when i was when i did consider myself a fan of ninja which is his grind either way either way either if he is playing with women or he's deciding that i don't give a shit it's just i'm trying to explain what his perspective could possibly be i'm not defending him i if it was me i and basically you know there was no problem i'd play with girls i've played with girls in the past the problem is with my situation is that the girls I played with were my actual girlfriends. And then basically people go and message them privately and make false allegations. Mm. And then they, and Dude, the that's women, so weird. Are, who takes the time to do that? That's such a weird thing to do. People who fucking hate life and want to drink bleach and die. <laughs> Derek, David, David says, Derek announces that he refuses to collab with boys like Augie since he has a boyfriend and he doesn't want to complicate the relationship. Yeah, dude, Jack. You, you you better you better you better you better uh you better find out what's going on dude i just collabed with your boyfriend how does that feel <laughs> i'm just messing collabing this fucking dick <laughs> fucking weirdo <laughs> we, we we should collab with uh we should collab with tobes because then that would just make the sausage fest even uh, saucier that is so gay <laughs> be like God, a meat Tobes's fest <laughs> yeah exactly all right, guys. I think that covers the story segments. Now you guys want to sit. In, you guys want to make fun of Monday Matt some more? <laughs> uh, sure. I don't even know who he is. Well, you're about to find what? out. What? Yeah, dude. I've just been sitting here listening. Like every single RFC live, I'm just kind of here, like fucking. Well, and, and do you know what's funny? Weird I, shit. I actually, I actually have a script ran up for the intro for that video I told you guys I was doing about the whole Monday Matt thing, and literally, this is my description for each person. Okay, I just want you to hear this. Augie covers YouTube drama. Connor covers politics. I cover gaming news and drama. And Ben? Well, Ben doesn't do much besides be cancer in the stream chat. Exactly. Well, I- I'm not even in the stream chat. That's the worst part of it. <laughs> yeah, but you're being cancer uh, right here. I'm trying to find the video where Monday Basically, Matt yeah. cries over a sub button. Does anyone have that? Monday Matt oh, dear crying God. sub button. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna go grab another drink and check on my guest. That's beer. Be I don't drink. Drink. Oh yeah, I forgot. What about yeah, like CM Punk over here? 
What about some homemade prune juice, dude? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go yeah. get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna... Uh, why are you such fucking a... shit yourself, dude? <laughs> why are you such a weirdo? Look right. who's fucking talking, Einstein. Dude, shut, 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 <laughs> shut up. Uh, all right, I got Keem servers is Monday math. Uh, Monday math cries over sub button. What else do we have? I think uh, we should get the part where Medicar gets some to uh, say I'm a soyfield bitch. Wait, wait is it Medicar like uh? Medicar. is the uh, the guy who. Uh, uh, how do I explain him? He's like he used to be like the skeptic sort of field, but now he does. Uh, he distances himself from that. He uh, he's like the biggest guy in the blood sports community, and he's a legend, uh, dude. Medicare's a legend. All right, my name. Uh, is yeah, I don't know who that is. Dude, you gotta you gotta you gotta look up these guys. They're entertaining. Like everyone, the like Kumite, Tonka, uh, Ralph. They're all they're all pretty they're all pretty entertaining. I don't, I don't even like fuck. I need to do stuff with my life. I don't do anything. Shit. What's up? I'm back. <laughs> what were you uh, talking uh, shit about uh, me behind my back, you motherfucker? Exactly, uh, dude. That's, gonna, that's what we do. You gonna strike me now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Mundane Matt, 100k. Augie, what is Blood Sports anyway? Blood Sports is like, uh, they're like the reaper. Nah, dude, Bloodsports where it's at. Bloodsports is like the uh, the rejects of the skeptic field on YouTube. They're like the guys that go against the skeptics within the skeptic community, uh, dude, and they're entertaining. They're, they're those are the homies. Andy Worski is the cringiest, scariest. <laughs> you don't like Andy? Dude, no, the whole fucking thing, JF and stuff. I tried uh... to watch. I tried to watch one, you know, stream of it. And literally, I felt dirty with how racist they were being. <laughs> racist? Like, what were they talking about? Oh, basically about the Holocaust not being real and and Were shit they agreeing with it or are they just memeing or something? One person was arguing with the other person. Basically, this woman was saying, oh, the Holocaust did happen and or didn't happen. The other guy said it did happen. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I feel wrong watching this. <laughs> Dude, I I, I like, like I like Andy Worski's show because uh, well I used to now it's kind of AIDS, but back when it was like really good I liked listening to it because it gave you you got to listen to crazy and I kind of liked that. But yeah. Well, no shit, everyone likes listening to crazy. Why the fuck do you think we listen to Baited for so long? Why do you long? think people listen to our? Oh wait, they don't. <laughs> nah, all right. Good let's, joke. Let's uh, Ben, have you joined the sync uh video? We're gonna watch Monday. I swear, if it gives me like fucking like oversized cucumber or some shit. <laughs> what are you talking? What the about? fuck? Dude, this is Monday Matt. This ain't Review Tech USA. This is Monday Matt. Dude, sync video always gives you those fucking weird okay. ass names, oh, right? Oh, you're talking about the Augie. names. Uh, Augie. what? What do you think of um? Hurry up and fucking invite me. Tech USA. I love that dude. That's like I, I do I, too. I, the, out of all the YouTubers I've been watching the longest, it's definitely Review Tech USA. I've been tuning into a show for like six years. That's how I found out about Monday and Cuck. There's Same. nothing that's here. How, that's how I found out about Monday Matt too. It's which in was the through... fucking group chat, dum dum. I know. That's what I'm looking at right now. I DM'd you privately. Get in. Oh, you're fuck. so stupid. No IQ. What the fuck? What kind of name is that? Important crocodile. So you an important crocodile? There's I'm some theme in the thing. Meek like. There we go. That's a good name. Bashful Japanese Mac. What's a Macwi? <laughs> <laughs> what is a Macwi? Look it up, dude. I should have named myself the Humunculus. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look it up now. Hold on. Uh, I'll look it up. I'll give you guys a description. Dude, All you're right. gonna give. You're gonna get so many fucking viruses on your computer from that shit. Hey, you're, gonna, like, down, you're gonna like download this document file to find out. Hold on. Ah, here we go. What's a Macwee? It's a monkey. Oh, dude, that sounds really racist. How <laughs> is that racist? Here. What? Here, I'm gonna send you guys a Wikipedia article. Here. Doesn't make any sense. How is that here. racist? We're not allowed to use Wikipedia. We can't that, that's, accurate. That's what. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, uh, that's what Holy a Macwee is. Holy shit! That's you, dude. 
Dude, that's low key me. Here, you want me to you want me to upload a picture real quick of me? Yeah. Here we go. I'm scared. Let me find. <laughs> hey, it's all right. While you find that, let's go ahead and watch the best of Monday and Matt. Are you guys ready? I have three videos loaded here. We're gonna watch Keemstar versus Monday and Matt. We're gonna watch there you the go. 100,000 silver play button, and <laughs> we're going. To... <laughs> hey. Oh. And we're gonna watch Monday Matt is a soy filled bitch by Mr. Medicare. It's a All great right, name. Let's get into it. Before we do that though, I wanna call Connor because he isn't here yet and I'm really mad. So I'm gonna actually Dude, he's call probably him. busy, dude. Don't don't freaking bother a man, dude. <laughs> don't He's bother just doing a manly thing, dude. Dude, no, I thought it was funny. I was like sitting here right be you know before the show started. And you know, you said, "Oh, I'm probably gonna be a few minutes late." And I was like, "Ten fucking thirty! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Is it playing? Dude, stop Dude. fucking! Oh my god. This is the fourth time I called him today. He needs to pick Dude, what up. Were the, what were the other we're, two times? We're an hour he, into the show, and he's he not here yet. Did he die in Japan? Dude, like, he's kind of busy right now, dude. Busy doing what? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to reach has a voicemail oh, that's not been set up yet. Please he, try what? Again later. Why is he gonna set up his voicemail? What's he doing? Dude, I haven't set up my voicemail. You think I do that shit? Hey, yeah, if it was, I've... it'd be like, if you need to reach me, I probably don't want to talk to you, so fuck off. That's probably what it would be. So. <laughs> great, great job. Like, you go in to get a job, right? Yeah, it's like, fuck off. You're sleeping. <laughs> You know, I would answer the phone, but honestly, I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> fuck what you're offering. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. Oh my and God. and that's how you become the CEO of a company, okay? Ugh, AIDS. All right. You, you guys, hop, hop, are you guys watching this? I'm yeah. waiting, All right. motherfucker. All right, so we're <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not even showing on the screen. There we go. Why is the, why is the audio now picking up? Oh, there it is. There on Social Blade. Mm -hmm. Can you guys hear that? The past. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna watch this. 365, 365 days. This is Keemstar versus results. Monday, Matt. Yeah, and I think he's chosen at around two ten. Let me go ahead. And... Yep. Oh. The youth, so to speak, on there, and then their parents got involved. Matt, got you're involved. Matt, you piece of shit. Shut the. F <laughs> No one here fucking likes you at all. You're here just trying to be friends with everyone. No, but I'm talking. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is this channels. is. You who is fucking this? loser. Who is this? Just like when you fucking told who, who the police that I swat at you. You who fucking sad. Wait, is this actual Keemstar? Oh yeah. yeah. Keemstar. Dude, it sounds like he's oh going God, through freaking like puberty right now. What? Who are you, buddy? Wait, his wait, voice is so high pitched. His voice is so high pitched for me. Sounds like normal Keemstar. What are you on about? No, dude, to me, he sounds like, like, he sounds like, hi, guys. That's what it sounds like to me. Are you getting confused with Monday and Matt? No. No. Okay, the guy who's screaming is Keemstar. No, I know who I, I know, but I'm like so confused because I know it's Keemstar, but he sounds like he's having like a midlife crisis and like his girlfriend like ripped out his fucking vocal cords. If you cords. ever listen to Baited, that's what Baited sounds like. Holy yeah. shit! Hell no. All right. Employees yet? Oh man. And uh, I of never course told I the pay my I never told the fucking How many employees do you me, pay? God, idiot. because you can't afford any because your channel's fucking dying. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so and everybody that fucking calls you're you on cute. your shit, you you're have some funny. fucking revenge thing where you have to try to take down people's shit. I don't try to take down anybody because I don't give a shit. You fucking do struck anything. You okay, so what they're debating about <laughs> is when Ralph Retort was on the doing the stream, they got struck. Uh, right. by Monday and Matt, and then Matt saying, uh, no, I wasn't, and Keem saying, uh, you struck it. So, just to provide some context. P piece of shit. Right. Okay. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, you yes, like to make up did. shit, Keemstar, so why don't you go yes, fuck yourself? You well, guess what? Guess what? There's gonna be fucking revenge on your ass for this dumb shit. Oh, like shit. This revenge for when you told the police I that I fucking police. swatted you. That you swatted there me. is I revenge. Th I did not you tell the police. You will never that. ever make it in this YouTube world. Mark I'm making my it right world. now. No, you're not. Yes, you are I failing. am. You I'm are not failing. failing. I am very, doing just fine. Very much. You are no, failing. I'm doing just fine. Thank you. How are you doing fine? How you are don't you know doing my analytics, fine? dude. I do Everybody okay. hates you. That's fine. Nobody likes you. Not true. Man, that 1, is true. Subs a month. One thousand subs a month is pretty dead, man.
So they're trying to sit here and tell, hey, Matt, your channel's dying. Like, what are you going to do? And he's trying to argue, no, my channel's doing fine. I'm pulling a million views a month. And it's like, no, Matt, Matt, that's, that's, that's not, that's not good. I mean, wasn't this guy complaining when his channel views used to be 2 million a month and then they bumped down to 1 million a month? Obviously, you're unhappy with their channel. Just admit it, all right? Well, and, and that's the thing. He's in denial. But here, here's the thing. He's so sensitive that, about criticism. He can't even take it when someone says, Matt, your channel's dying. He's so defensive. He's like, no, what are you? No, 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 no. I'm not dying. What see, are you, what are you see here's about? the thing that bugs me, though, right? It's like they get to determine what is dead and what is alive for a channel. The thing is, is that what drives me nuts is if you're small like we are, right? Like you and me and so on. <laughs> I'm not even mentioned. <laughs> I don't even know what your channel it's is. It's fair, but... dude. It's 15 subs. Okay? <laughs> yeah, Deal you're, with you're, it. You're, you're, your channel dude, the content... Up. Dude, your channel is better than Monday is, Matt. Your channel is still better, okay? You're It's still... Man, you're it's pulling, quality you're pulling, content. You're pulling one sub a month. Dude, your channel's dude, dead. Dude, not even that. Your channel not even is that. dead. No, your channel is still a fetus ready to be aborted. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but what Ugh. I was saying was, is, like, what are our channels considered? Is our channels, like, still, like, a fucking infant? Is it dead? Is it alive? I don't fucking know. Because it's hard to determine whenever we're this small. Dude, and we have come on, that dude. Team. Monday Match Channel is dead. Like, no, no, but I'm just asking the, the question for, in general, for YouTube. Uh. Not, I'm not worried about Monday Cuck. All don't right. give a fuck about Monday Cuck. Yeah, dude, like, I feel like when you're pulling it, when you have 160,000, or had 160,000 subs, <laughs> and you're pulling, like, 5,000 views a video, something's wrong, all right? You need to fix something, because that's I not good. I fixed something with my channel. I started doing full edited videos, and, you know, I've got 3,500, uh, right? Mm. I've got, like... On my last two major edited videos, my Halo and my Gears War video, I pulled about 1,600, so that's half my sub count. That's usually what you want, I believe. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, my channel isn't, like, most active at the moment right now, um, but here's the thing. I, I used to do, like, daily content, mm -hmm. and then I realized, oh, this is AIDS. No one's tuning into this. So then I switched to more, like, weekly central content where, besides RC Live, I do, like, one or two videos a week. And my last video, uh, or no, the one before that got like a thousand views. So it's like the viewer retention increased dramatically. It's still not where I'd like it to be, but I'm actually like working on trying to, you know, like make it better. Like my last video, I uploaded a video on Gab, right? It, yesterday, it got like 150 views. That's AIDS for my channel. So my next video is going to be on a trending topic. Uh, so hopefully like that's going to increase the view. Like I, I'm, I'm able to look at situations and be like, oh, this isn't getting enough views, so I gotta do something to fix this. Match is sitting here doing the same strategy and it's not working. Look, like I'm looking at the streamer now. We have four viewers watching. All right, that's not good for my channel. So we're gonna have to work on stuff to fix RFC Live and make this show more, uh, to have more viewers because you know we should be getting like 20 or something right now, but we're not. So in my opinion. Uh, we gotta fix some stuff. So maybe next week we'll see some new changes. Like you, as a YouTuber, you constantly have to be evolving. You have to look where stuff's failing and realize, oh hey, I need to fix something. Maybe we should do RFC Live on a different date. Maybe we should do different topics in RFC Live. I don't know. I'm gonna be experimenting until we can get the show more viewers. Just like how I experiment stuff on my video to get my videos more viewers. You gotta evolve. You can't just sit there and do the same thing. Monday and Matt is here to tell me, oh my gosh, some Catholic priest raped a kid. Whoa! Really, Monday, Matt? Really? I, I, I know that's crazy. You know, it's like that's not working. I'm not tuning right. into Matt it, to hear exactly. Some... And the Whoa. thing is, like, I experimented and I took the risk of, hey, I'm gonna take a longer time getting a video done, which could have killed then... your channel. It was a risk. Right, but guess what? The viewership was higher. It's higher than it's been. And guess what? Because I've been doing live streaming. People have been enjoying that. You know, mm. a lot of the people that showed up tonight that, you know, from my, you know, me tweeting it out, they like my live streams. So yeah. I thought maybe they'll like RFC Live. The thing is, a, a lot of my people don't like drama, but I'm addicted to the shit. That's why I came on here. Yeah. Addicted to the penis. <laughs> uh, that was AIDS. Never said that again.
But no, like, uh, adding a conversation, like, even on Twitch, right? A completely different platform with a completely different algorithm, right? Or not really, yeah. Twitch doesn't have an algorithm. They just, uh, it's just, like, a different whole strategy there. I was doing game streams on Twitch, and they were getting zero. Like, the, the, the view count was zero, and that's really really bad so i switched up and i started doing desktop irl and all of a sudden now i get like 10 viewers in there on average which is insane for me so obviously you know work you gotta change it up a bit you know you gotta freshen it up like what do the viewer put you gotta put yourself in the mind of the viewer what would i want if i was a subscriber to Super red fox comms so yeah I, I, I'm the thing for me is that whenever it comes to the name gamer j lee what people are going to expect is either halo content or just gaming content in general like if i wanted to like let's say like a night after i get off work you know like tonight i could start the live stream do an ir love stream just say hey let's see if there's any gaming news that i can cover let's like you know send me some like hot hints and let's take a look at this together and see what we can find you know what i mean some hot hints yeah yeah, some hot trails, some hot tails. <laughs> what's what's like a bad infomercial for fucking butt plugs, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, hot trail, hot <laughs> tail, fucking butt plugs. Let's go. Hot Let's tail. get that sponsorship. That's AIDS. Let's watch the video. Why don't you change what you're doing? Figure out a new formula. And this is an AIDS. You get the most attention when you <laughs> yeah, true. get into the controversy. When you're involved in some kind of controversy. controversy. Yeah, no, I, why, I, don't I'm you, why don't you embrace being a little bit more edgy and embrace being a little bit more more confrontational, uh, for lack of a better term, and and embrace that instead of running from it and being this sort of middle of the road fence riding centrist guy. Embrace the drama. I, embrace the fun. It's, and it's maybe you would embrace the hate. Because right now it's dead, Matt. It's not dead. It's not dead. I still. It's. It's again. You guys are really no putting a heavy not. emphasis. No, I'm not in denial. So no, it's dude. So here's, it's pathetic. not dead. Here's the thing. Matt, 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 Matt. They're not. They're, oh, they're not Matt, lying. You, you, you I mean, Matt, they're not. They're not lying. You've got five thousand views on like videos you put up today. You have one hundred sixty thousand subs. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's it's, it's one thirty second. Like this. Uh, no, here's. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware dude, of dude, that. But go it's also, in the corner right now and cry. You deserve a good cry. You oh, deserve it. You earned a good September, cry. Go in the fucking corner, Matt, and cry. Let September, it all out. September 2016, all right? I had zero. You had one hundred twenty-two thousand. And start. now I have three hundred. Uh, yeah. Three hundred three thousand. We have. Look, we cater to different audiences. There's nothing wrong with that. So there's a difference. There's a difference in audience type, which is fine. Uh, again, people grow at different rates. I'm fully aware of what's happening. I'm fully aware of where things are. Cater to point zero 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 zero. As a result of that, I still do, and I still do fine. So there's nothing wrong with having a, a dedicated audience. There's nothing wrong with having a group of people that watch you. Nothing wrong with being able to get by. All right. I'm not in this to get rich. I'm not in this to be a millionaire. Bullshit. I genuinely like what I do. Yeah. I bullshit because if you if you didn't care uh, hold on my headphones just got caught in my fucking chair <laughs> if you didn't care about getting rich or being popular or whatever the fuck then why did you go and try and take down criticisms of you yeah I mean, does he want to have a question. good name okay I have a guy who made a four hour fucking video on me Responding to my live stream. Oh, that's it. And he literally called me an inbred. He called me a cunt. He called me a fucking, you know, retard faggot. He said <laughs> I sucked my best friend's dick. So on and so forth. Do you see me taking down his fucking videos? No, I'm just sitting here fucking just dancing saying, how you doing, bitch? Yeah. I mean. Continue. Monday, Monday math. <laughs> Monday I'm, dead. I am fully aware of my analytics of where things are and what's going on, and things are still fucking fine. You guys can have your opinion, totally cool, but that's where it's at. By the way, I'm standing now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's Look, the whole I'm not thing. talking about that. Look, I mean, if somebody just straight uploads your video, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to criticize you on that. Now, me personally, I just don't worry about it at all. So people can take whatever they want from my streams. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> That All was right. it? What about the part where he fucking came back after the fucking reveal? What the fuck? Came, after, came back after the reveal? 
Yeah, uh, he came I don't back know. after the reveal and said, you are a piece of shit. I'm Split. fucking done with you. I'm crossing off my fucking list, you motherfucker. Let me try and find that. Monday Mad Keemstar. Uh, let's see. By the way, I'm currently just, like, wandering around my office while we're doing this, fucking putting video games away. Nice. Are your video games out? What are they doing? Dude, he was laying them out, dude. <laughs> no, like, if you follow me on Instagram, look at my collection, dude. Look at my fucking collection. Oh, my God. Oh, that should follow you on Insta. I don't know. No, I, don't really, like, I don't really get Instagram. Like, I don't here. Well, I dude, it, it's very, like, it's just pictures, you know what I mean? But here. Yeah. I'm going to send you this. Look at the second image. These are the first ones of me and my girl. Um, Hold on. Here. That second image is my entire collection of video games. All right, let me pull this up. I don't, I'm not showing it on stream. Just you can you can show. Well, I mean, it. it's your public Instagram. That's, yeah. Well, it's a public Instagram. Yeah, it's not like it's my private fucking you know Instagram. <laughs> uh, let's see this. It's just your it's your private porn account, dude. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Second second Jeez. one over is my my game dude, collection. Gamer J Lee out here flexing on the haters. Yeah, no, you can show that on stream if you want to screen share that shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm showing it right now. It's that that collection. Uh, yeah. All right, everyone wants to watch the 100K vid. Let me uh, let me pull it. The up. 100K vid. Oh, the Monday the Matt cry. cries. All right, you guys want want to see a grown man cry over a button? Oh yeah. Well, dude, like, I, here's the thing. You know what it reminded me of? Wait, where the fuck is? Oh, um, dude, where'd you, know you what go? Reminded me of? Yeah, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Right. You, you know what it reminded me of in all honesty hmm. it reminded me of that that image of Shawn Michaels when he wins his first world championship holding the title crying it reminded me of that this is directly from Monday Matt's YouTube 100,000 subscribers silver play button unboxing can you hear it Ben Here we go. yeah I can hear uh, it it's not even playing for me Hey, what's going on, everyone? Is it My now? name is Monday Matt. Now, there it goes. Something I've been waiting for a very, 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 very long time to get. Long uh, time, no. Sucky, just sucky, sucky, fucky, Dude, fucky. Soon he's going to have to turn it in because he won't have 100,000 subs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, for me, I'm going to assume that it's from YouTube. I haven't opened it up all the way yet. I just made sure that the tape could come off easily. But I do believe that this is my uh, my 100,000 subscribers silver play button plaque. And I've been waiting bullshit. a super fucking long time for this. I mean, in fairness, I'm using an Audio Technica right now. By In like four months, I want to have a proper uh, Keemstar Tommy C mic. But for well, now. Dude, I'm using an Audio Technica. And my. Well, is yours USB or XLR? USB. You can, dude, there are good Audio Technica XLRs. Like, you sound great even with the USB. It doesn't matter. It just, as long as you know how to manage the settings, you're crystal. I, yeah, I suppose, but I just, I, I don't know. I, I want to get a proper deal, like, soon with, like, a mixer right. and stuff. But anyway, let's keep watching Mundane Rat. Take a look at this here. All right, so I'm opening it up. <laughs> fuck. You guys can see that right there. Loud as fuck. I apologize. Take out whatever the fuck that is. All right. Oh, shit. The fuck is this thing? Oh god. Oop. Nope. I think I might have accidentally. Okay, skip a minute in or so. All right. Let's see. Just get to the part where he cries like a bitch. On the back side, there is there's that, uh, which shows a whole bunch. Uh, says kids react. All right, I think he's... What's this? It's extremely fun. It's ungodly humbling. Okay, he's starting and to cry already. Let's just he, he's I starting to water up. All right, let's go back here. It is just gray. Um, but on the back side, there is there's that, uh, which shows a whole bunch. Uh, it says kids react. So clearly, this is from YouTube. This is this is it. This is it. So okay, before I open this thing. I just I have an impromptu speech that I'm making up on the fly. Oh, Good no. for you. When I started my channel back in February of 2012, I was in a very dark place. I, I I've told wait this story a minute. multiple times. Wait 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Whoa! In whoa! Whoa! Dude, that's exactly what he said last. What? 
I'm not in the right state of mind. I'm in a very dark place. Motherfucker, it's 2018. You're still in a dark place, you son of a bitch. Your channel's dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. AIDS. I'm not going to reiterate it here. I just was in a Fuck. very bad place. And over the course of almost four and a half years, I have worked pretty much every day to uh, build up uh, this brand, build up my name, build up my presence online. Read other people's news articles and offer my incredible reaction. Yeah. Did you? Do you guys? Did you guys know Zoe? Zoe Quinn flagged me. By the way, Zoe Quinn flagged me. Yeah. Zoe Quinn. Yeah. Flagged Who the fuck me. is that? Zoe Quinn flagged me. Who the fuck is that? Zoe Quinn. Flagged oh my me. god. I don't know who that is. Do you not know who I am? I'm Monday Matt, and Zoe Quinn flagged me. He doesn't know any of this. Like Zoe here's Quinn. The thing, here's the thing about Panda, and here's the thing about me. I'm on the inside, knowing this shit, ready to go like a fucking pro, and Panda's <laughs> over there, fucking typing away on his clickety clack razor fucking keyboard. Yo, what are you doing? Are you playing a video game right now? I'm playing Rust right now, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> show you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, this is AIDS. Were you always <laughs> shot? Damn. You were just shot from the point when like Verse was playing like Smash Bros in the middle of it. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to remind you guys, Zoe Quinn flagged me. Yeah, Zoe Quinn flagged me. Zoe Quinn flagged me. Zoe just remember Qu that. Zoe Quinn flagged me. She also wrote me in her fucking book. <laughs> did she actually write about him? She didn't use his name. What did she say about him in the book? I don't know, but I think he, I think he, he's, he's <laughs> reading into it too much and hoping to God that she, you know, mentioned <laughs> him. And like, it could have been about anyone. Oh my gosh. Mine, and it's something that I am super thankful to have the opportunity to do every day. Uh, for the past roughly 14, almost 15 months, this has been my full time job. And it's not easy. I work not seven anymore, days a motherfucker. Week and I don't get to take vacations, basically, uh, without a lot of prep work. But ultimately, it's, it's, it's extremely rewarding. It's extremely fun. It's ungodly humbling. <laughs> and it's something that I am so thankful I get to do. You know, what watching, you know what watching this has, like, really shown me? What? You know, like, you look at a guy like Monday Matt. Monday Matt is really, for me, one of those people that you just want to like. He seems like a chill you dude. Want, you want him to be a winner, but he's actually just dude, a I'm fucking Dude, wa I'm watching this right now, and I feel terrible. You know why? Not for Monday Matt. I'm watching him, and I'm like, look what you become. Like, a monster, a monster. I'm turning into a monster. This guy, this guy, you know, was the champion of free speech. You wanted, the, you look at this guy. This guy is like the, you know, he seems like such a nice, likable dude. And then you think, fast forward to now. You know, I told you guys, when I watched the Ralph retort, I walked away from that saying, Monday Matt is a good dude, but he did a terrible thing. Right, and then, then after that, you're just like, no, he's a piece of shit was, because he just acted like nothing happened and went back to work. It wasn't until I started watching the Kumite and Tonka saw... I didn't saw, watch the Kumite one. Well, so, like, the, what, what, what came out in the Kumite one? Like, that's what I want to know. I watched the Kumite, and I was like, oh, they're going to goof on him. They're going to have a good time. It's The show started out somber because the Kumite, if you guys don't know, is run by Tonka and Failure. Yeah. And... Failure, isn't he supposedly a friend of Mundane Matt? He, that's exactly the thing. Failure and Mundane Matt were friends. Not just internet friends, IRL friends. They hung out. They, th These guys, uh, they had dinner. They did collab stuff. These guys were, were genuinely, not just like, I know like there's, you know, the whole internet versus real friends. These guys it's like out. It's like Keemstar, Grade A, and Levy. You were my friend. Exactly. I exactly. you were my friend. But like the thing about the situation is, is that uh, the reason also, why Keemstar the... has no right to give shit Monday Matt shit about crying. Whenever he lost Leafy and Great, he cried like a little <laughs> bitch. But like uh, Monday Matt, uh, the reason why the Kumite started was because failure needed. Excuse me, failure needed a job, and Tonka, uh, you know, saw this guy, and failure is a genuinely nice dude. And Tonka wanted to do something nice back. And so they started the show, and all the revenue they made from the show went to failure to help pay his bills. And Matt was fully aware of this. They talked about it. 
And at the same time that Matt was talking about how good friends they were, Matt was flagging the Kumite multiple times, trying to take away Thalia's only source of income, at the same time telling him that they were friends. You know, that makes me think. That is undefendable, and that is unforgivable. I'm going to do a little bit of an Alex Jones-style like theory here, okay? Let's just say this. Why is it that you don't think that Tommy has gone as hard as he could on Monday and Matt? Because they're buds? No, not 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 that. Not that. What do you think? But is? because maybe he's worried about Monday and Matt taking away his only source of revenue. What are you talking about? I don't about? I don't think I don't think that's true, but I know, I know, like, but I want to hear this. Like what what do you mean? He strikes his channel. He lo- Tommy loses streaming. Hold on, what hold can on. he do? Hold on. Connor called. Yo, what up, dude? Hello? Yo, yo, you there? Yeah. You You're alive? Yeah, we're, we're actually live on the air right now. We're about an hour and a half into the show. Oh, for real? Yeah, Am yeah. Say out of the chat, dude. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what? I said, what's up, chat? How you guys doing? I'm glad I could show up on RFC Live. All right, well, when are you coming on? You want me to come on now? Well, why not? What are you doing? I'm in my bed. Well, what are you doing in your bed? Don't don't answer that on stream. I'm just sitting in my bed. <laughs> my my <laughs> friend who's up here, the corn, dude. Who's up in my office right now just said that right, he's jerking off. Right, hold on, guys. Right, shut up. I need to listen to Connor. All right, are you getting on? Yeah, I can get on now. Well, All right, well, on. get on. What are you doing? We're doing the... <laughs> Dude, he was finishing, dude. Fucking totally forgot. What were like, you doing? Were you finishing? Done. What's going on? <clears throat> what part of the show are you on? We're like an hour and a half in. Uh, Motherfucker. No, we're not. We're still doing the stories. Oh. We're really? talking about Monday and Matt. Can I close the video sync yet? Alright. Alright, hop in Discord. <laughs> this is AIDS. Hop in Discord. Can I Can I close the uh, video sync? Right, can you guys shut up? Alright, hop on Discord. Okay, I guess I'll hop on Discord on my phone. No! On your PC! Dude, he's obviously <laughs> sleeping over, okay, dude. Hold on, get back. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead in that pussy! <laughs> oh. So AIDS. No, I tried something new. Like, I got bored of sitting in front of my computer, so I'm actually standing. I've got my mic arm extended up. It's called fap standing. Wait, what? So you look like you're gonna like awesome hot fucking. Yes. My my friend's saying that it looks like I'm about to spit some hot fucking rhymes. Oh yeah. Because I've, I'm standing here in front of the microphone because I just got tired of sitting. So I'm not a fat fuck like my name Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so you can also, I think that one of my fans thinks that Monday and Matt is actually my friend Matt. Really? Yeah, I think he... I th- That Jason kid, he comes to all my streams. I think he actually thinks that that Matt is the same Matt that hangs out with me on a daily basis. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <coughs> this is it. Were you ever friends of Monday and Matt? Did you ever talk to him? Jaylen? Can I close videos? No, I was, sync? I never, I've never talked to Monday, Matt. Don't, <sighs> Fuck's don't, sake. Don't close video sync. We're, we're only... Hold on. We're not even halfway through this stuff. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, kind of... M- mistakes were made. Oh, my gosh. 100 play. Where'd Jay Lee go? Oh, Connor's calling me again. Yo, what's going on? Hey guys, look up. Stream, listen up. Um, so yeah, Chandler's friend was over last night, right? And they were using my computer. So my mom decided to turn the internet off at 12. On what the- a fucking so Jew. I opened up Discord and went to connect, and then immediately my internet's turned off. So tell them to turn it on. They're asleep. Oh, that's... Dude, well, wake them up! Dude, tell them that you need your session in, dude. dude. Wake my mom up and tell her, hey, you turn my internet off. This is RFC Live! You're gonna make millions on the show! Get on! <laughs> I'll get on my f- Fucking Jew. AIDS! Yeah, for real. Turn my internet on, Mom, I'm doing RFC Live! <laughs> <laughs> Someone clip that. Hey, we're, that's gonna be the new donation sound. Turn my internet off the, off the cell phone camera. 
<laughs> yeah, that's... it sounds like your mic shoved up your fucking ass and you're in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh jeez. All right, I am back. All right, all right. We'll go ahead and get on, get on, uh, get on Discord because this is AIDS. Yeah, is it? I can't even hear. But Jay Lee is Ben there too? Yeah, Ben and Jay. Well, what's up, my dude? Yeah, everyone actually <laughs> showed up ben, except for you. you. <laughs> are you in Discord? Uh, we can get. Why are you in the call? Get on Discord. Okay. AIDS. Dude, you're getting a little frustrated, dude. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what me or Augie? Augie, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm mad. Versus, he you rape my he fucking said he'd be, he you said he'd be like 10, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking like about Augie. He said he'd be like 10 Augie. minutes late. It's like we're like an hour and a half in. Exactly. And well, who who was the first one here? Maybe he's an hour and a half in. <laughs> he's an hour and a half in the wrong place, dude. <laughs> 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 uh, is he coming on? I don't know. Yeah, he's on. He's online. He's just away or whatever. Or busy or whatever it is. All right, let me message him. Get on the RFC Live group. We. Are well, he's on there. The you just have to add him to. You gotta call. Yeah. Mother let me long time, long time. Sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky, Hong Kong, so, Hong Kong. While we're getting back Kong, into this, can you Hong explain Kong, to me? Hong Kong, Shut Hong Bin. Kong. I will legit throw you out of here. All right. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> All right. What did right. you say? All right, listen. I want to hear uh, Jay Lee's conspiracy. It's tinfoil Tommy theory on tinfoil. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, no, my whole my whole joke theory, my Alex Jones turned the frogs gay joke, <laughs> basically was is you know how failure was Matt's friend. Mm -hmm. What if Tommy, whose only source of revenue is live streaming, basically loses that because of mundane cuck? Because let's say that he criticizes him super hard, Monday Matter, whoever's posing as Monday Matt, basically does a, a guideline strike, shuts him down, there goes that revenue. Yeah. See so becomes a porn star. Hey, what what what's going on, Connor? You know what's up, dude? Yo, what's up? Dude, how's hour and a half late. How's dude, my phone? Am I going I, it, I swear, if you don't show up to the next RFC Live, I will kick you out and replace you to Turkey Tom. <laughs> I would love that. Like, dude, good, three good commentators. Love you. Dude, I swear. This is so AIDS. Why aren't you showing I, up to the show? I couldn't. I was it's an hour and a half in. What were you he doing? You said you'd be 10 minutes late. No, I wasn't. I was actually at work. They kept me overtime for an hour. Oh, Did they pay you at least? No. Then yeah. let us know. Get the app on your phone and text us. I can't use my goddamn phone at work. You <laughs> get fired? <laughs> Stupid ass up. I can't use my phone at work. You don't even need a job. You're an RFC Live. Dude, just go into the corner where the camera can't see you and freaking check There's your phone, dude. <laughs> dude, wh what, what, where the fuck? Dude, ben, it's not that ben, bad. Your 200 IQ really is really showing right now. I'm sorry. sake. So my, my girl and I, we worked at the same time yesterday, like during the same shift. Yeah. And like one time she like stood next to me, like really close and we were talking, whatever. And then the next day today, the manager pulled me aside and was like, the higher ups were looking at the cameras <laughs> and they saw all touchy feely with Megan and we can't be going on. And I'm, Dude, that's why like you don't get, seconds. that's, ugh, that's why you don't do that at work. Seconds. Out of a six-hour shift, she stood next to me, and the higher-ups were watching just the entire time. They just sit there at their house. <laughs> dude, they were getting freaking moist, dude. They're like, <laughs> no, we were hoping they were going to see a show. We were hoping to see a show, motherfucker. <laughs> like, what were they expecting to watch after just sitting there for, like, hours? At like, least the higher-ups are, are actually showing up to your job, unlike you. Dude, seriously, who the fuck are the higher ups? Are they like the owner? Because I doubt they have the fucking CEO fucking <laughs> sitting, sitting there on his fucking Chromebook <laughs> watching your ass. It's like Vince McMahon just sitting there, like, what is this fuck doing? What is that? You're fired. <laughs> no, but for real. Um, so yeah, they're literally always watching the cameras. So if I took my phone out for like one dude, second, dude, like, Ben's two hundred IQ. Ben, I I just want to point out Ben's two hundred IQ plan. Just go where the cameras aren't and just sit there and text. Exactly. That's like, Dude, I didn't tell you to freaking write a fucking yeah, dossier, like, there's okay? Like, there's like, but... it's, it's, I'm gonna do that. it's like the Legend of Zelda. <clears throat> there's like search cameras in specific parts of the room. Dude, you use freaking Siri, dude. Like, open it in like your pocket. It's like Siri, and then you talk, and then end it, send it. 
done. And did send it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Send, send it, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, wait. Oh wait. You can't join the sync video. We're watching videos right now. Oh my god. Dude, he's, don't, we're, don't worry about it, dude. You're not missing out. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think we, I think we should get to callers and wrap this bad boy up because dude, we gotta watch. No, no, no. We gotta watch Monday Matt cry, dude. Okay, then Fuck hustle that. it up, motherfucker. All right. Well, Connor, That's... wait. Con can can you do it on mobile? I'm gonna try. All right. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. We'll switch scenes here. We'll try to get you in. It's what probably gonna suck, dude, Cowboy why, Cock. Dude. Why were your why, dude? Why were your why is your brother touching your PC, dude? That's weird. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I, I said I can use his computer. I'm gonna sign in on there. Okay. It has internet. Has internet till one. All right. We'll get in. Get to it. Wait. Did you see your brother's computer? Yeah. His Charlie's computer. Wait, why is this? Uh, no, I don't fucking want to know. Yeah. I don't want to know either. <laughs> you don't want to know what? <laughs> why, why, do, why does your younger brother have more freaking internet yeah. access than you? No, he doesn't. It's that they Chandler's friend was over. My mom was like, let's turn the internet off for Chandler's friend. Oh. So he off what at midnight for his Dude, that's and fucking AIDS. Yeah. It is AIDS. Dude, All right, hold on, I'm joining. Skip mobile freaking internet. Holy shit! You know, you know what sucks, and I guarantee you guys would have gone crazy when you guys were gone. I had no internet for a week. Oh really? I had yeah, I had no internet for a week. I was sitting here listening to this fat fucking cuck just sit here and talk. Hey guys, Monday Matt here. Welcome to the Monday Matt show. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm losing my mind, stocking shelves while I'm sitting. I'm like, I wish I could watch good content, but no. Oh, Wait, why were you forced to watch him? Because no one else was making fucking videos. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. Um, Wait, I thought you lost like complete internet access. Like I had no your ISP. You said like new... fuck you. No, I had no internet because I just moved into my new apartment. By the way, and, dude, how is it? Uh, well, if you follow my Instagram, which I posted in our group chat, you would know. But basically, how is it? It's good. Okay, have you like? Is it like a tall building, or how is it exactly? I've got basically. It's like a townhouse. Basically, it's like I've got a downstairs. I've got an upstairs. I've got two bedrooms, one and a half bath. Uh, I've got access to a pool, so oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a pool. I was like, what the fuck are you gonna do yeah, on that I, shit, dude? I'm gonna go sit on the pole all day. <laughs> <laughs> big, 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 big questions. Holy shit, dude! For real. <laughs> That's an so, joke. No, one no like th that's the thing though. Is like right now, like this room is not very well audio. It's um, stanky, dude. <laughs> yeah, thank you, leg. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, we're gonna wait for Connor to get back here. We're gonna watch Monday yeah. Night Cry. Then we're gonna watch uh, Mr. Mediker, uh make Monday and Matt. Uh, uh, what, what does he make Matt do? It makes him uh, say, "Matt, uh, I want you to sit the camera. I'm a soy for a bitch." And then we're gonna uh, chill for a bit. We're gonna take some callers, and then we're going to call it a show. But Smoke I saw a Connor. In the park. I saw Connor jump in here, and he immediately left. He jumped in and jumped out. <sighs> AIDS. I swear, what is going on? How come Tipster Steam profile just has the massive fucking chin, dude? It's dude, fucking huge. Why are you roasting Tipster, dude? Dude, I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm just like That's... sitting here and I'm just looking at it, and there's just this massive fucking bulge. Like, I'm not <laughs> okay. trying to be a dick, okay? But I'm just sitting here and it's fucking. Dude, Tipster will <sighs> Tipster will cut you in half, dude. Tipster's dude, I'm not trying to be a fucking dick, but the dude, picture. Dude, how that is that posted... not you? You're literally poking fun at his physical appearance. How's... You are fat shaming him. Sir. Yeah. How am I fat, fat shaming, shaming him? him sir. Dude. What are you, Dave Meltzer, you motherfucker? Dude, yes. dude, Tipster is such a homie, dude. You can't be, dude. You, you, dude. I will legit throw you off the show if you roast Tipster, dude. I will mundane Matt. I will strike you <laughs> if you roast Tipster. All right. <laughs> Tipster's awesome. I, dude. I honestly like his content. He's the new mundane Matt. Tipster's, dude. Tipster's mundane Matt, but he talks about interesting stuff. He has that actual, actual commentary, dude. Uh Lamau. Play the Are video. You finally Play here. The right, get video. it? You better hop right into that sync video right now, or I'm replacing you with Turkey. Hey. I will replace you with Turkey Tom. How am I supposed to hop in if I don't have a damn link, idiot? 
<laughs> it's in the chat. There's no link in the chat. Yeah, there's ah! a link in the chat, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Send me the link. You have AIDS. You <laughs> wish. Dude, actually, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, dude. <laughs> David, <laughs> David just, says Jesus, Ben. Yeah, dude, we're all tipster homies, dude. You can't be roasting tipster on stream. I'm efficient, Ben's wrong. Wait, is Ben fat shaming? Dude, yeah, ben, he is. dude, 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 ben, dude, apparently me asking, <laughs> dude, okay, so, so, here's, this is what happens, okay, so I go on okay. Steam, you know I, I go through, like, you know is a fat motherfucker, I weigh 321 ben, pounds, oh, Ben's the last person to be fat shaming, you roly poly, <laughs> oh, tub of lard, oh, shit. fucking hell, did not, dude, I'm not that thick, okay, ben, cause I'm like, oh, dude, I'm fucking oh, six foot tall, you ben, fucking idiot, Ben, Ben, <laughs> Oh dude, not God. everyone is fucking like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arma. dude. Ro Roly poly. It, it, it's. Arma. Well, dude, you you don't have anything to say, dude, because you're basically like a fucking skeleton. All okay. Right. Let's stop. <laughs> ver let's stop. Well, no, wait. He's not a skeleton. He's a fucking snake because he's a leafy cosplayer. Oh my God. Ooh. All right. Let's 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 let's, let's watch Monday Matt cry. Are you guys? You guys let's have watch it. Play. <laughs> and and this this plaque. That's in this box that I haven't opened up yet. This this represents this four years in this box of hard work, four years of great conversations with people, four years of striking, of meeting a lot of just amazing, wonderful people throughout the internet who have subscribed, the back and commented, and watched my videos every day. Four years of 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 so many amazing things and a couple of bad things. And backstabbing, the boxing, the blackmail, the swatting, the backstabbing, mind, the striking, uh, some real douchey comments, but we're not gonna get into that. Uh, oh, you mean Tonka? Oh, but yeah. Ultimately, none of that matters. You mean failure? You none mean Andy Warski? Matters. This is validation for the past four years. <laughs> validation. Also, and I know pause, that may not pause. seem like much. All right. Just want to point out, he's wearing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt while he's fucking doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nice. Sure. Go ahead. To 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 a lot of you out there, but. When you spend your days in front of a webcam, in front of a computer, talking about things you find on the internet, it can be a, a lonely experience. Oh. It can, because I'm the only uh. one here. I'm the only one here, and then I, <laughs> okay. I rely on you guys to, to kind of for some outside contact every once in a while. Is your wife and children um, fake? But this, this to me, al allows for th that validation, that what I'm doing, what I have done, the hard work, it, 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 it's paying off. And I know it might be stupid to say that, and I know it might be dumb, but I've, I've, wanted, I've wanted this plaque for, for a very, very long time. I want one too, you motherfucker. I'm not going to cry. I'm, not I'm, gonna cry. To open it. I'm kind of All right, he says skip to when he reads the letter. When does he do that? The... When does he... Oh, he has a letter here. All right. I thought he thinks this says. guy's like a terrible version of boogie no this guy's like the boring version of philip defranco he looks like and sounds He's like the mundane version the <laughs> way he talks the way he talks reminds me of boogie yeah like and he's like dick too no i'm kidding dude what are you out your bit dude <laughs> why is everyone fat shaming so much I'm Jeez. Kidding. <laughs> was, God, was, you got a fat co-host here yeah you're not like... do we have two of them dude every there's this is the this is the show that should not this is like the last show on the internet that should be fat <laughs> shaming if someone wants to skinny shame my ass i don't care <laughs> dude, yeah, dude no. that's not oh. even bad dude well, we had, I, guess, like I, guess, I guess chicken, i guess dude. Uh, yeah yeah i don't know i don't know hey, it's all right <laughs> uh you've just done something very few youtube creators accomplish you had Bullshit. an astonishing hundred thousand people subscribe to your channel we know numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you didn't lose sight of the reality behind that six-digit milestone. He did. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel was touched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He they was were touched. Even they were touched. <laughs> oh my! Barely God. even started, and he's crying like a bitch. What you did? <laughs> they were inspired or challenged. <laughs> Why the fuck is he crying? Dude. This is fucking AIDS. Dude. This is my first time watching this whole video. Are this... you serious? Yeah, I've never seen this I before. saw this. I saw this video whenever it came out, and I was sitting there, I'm like, 
Man, I, I would probably be really like proud of myself if I got that. And I'd be probably emotional, but I wouldn't cry like a bitch. I'd probably be like... I wouldn't record it because I kind of want to keep some some essence of manlyhood, you know? <laughs> oh, wait, you're, are you admitting you would cry like a bitch? Maybe off... I, I mean, look, here's the thing. I mean, 100,000 subs, that's like my goal on YouTube. Um, right. But that's, that's that should be a lot of people's goal. Here's the thing: if I recorded it and I posted it and I kept it up for that long, you know, I feel like a huge chunk of my manlyhood would just die, and I kind of don't want that to happen. So why you know. wait, 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 wait? Why would why would that die for you if you didn't cry like a bitch? Well, no, I'm saying like, look, here's the thing: I I, I understand where he's coming from emotionally because he's gotten the sub button, he's like 100k and stuff like that. Like yeah. that's like an I, that's like a huge accomplishment. But okay, he I recorded it and he posted it, and it's just. Um, He's like, this is a great idea. This is the thing. I don't think it's anything. Okay, I don't know the context behind this guy, so he's probably like a. I don't know, he's probably a terrible person or whatever. Yeah. But I don't he think is. there's anything getting emotional or like crying when a huge goal like like happens in your life, like crying, to, like get married or something like that, or like it, like th those are big things. Like this is a big thing for him. But, like even if he's a douchebag, it's like. I know you guys want to make fun of him for crying. It's like funny, but like. Well, no, like I originally I defended. It's the him. fact that he posted. It's like a giant yeah, meme and stuff. And well, and all that he's posting it. It's almost like he's like flexing on us emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is, is I've even said this. Whenever I saw this originally, when I was when when the fuck was this video made? Um, I don't know. Let me look it up. But when whenever this video was made, I even said I'm I would probably cry, but I'm not gonna cry like he is. Where literally. He's breakdown crying like he just lost June thirtieth, twenty sixteen. Yeah, you know I don't think there's anything wrong with emotion getting emotional. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. We're just making fun of him mainly because the dude can't take criticism, and basically he was flagging people's channels down. Maybe Connor, maybe, yeah. maybe, like, maybe, maybe, maybe you would have realized this, and you would have understood the context of this entire oh, thing, shit. and you wouldn't oh, be I so clueless on what we're talking about right now if you showed up to your job. It doesn't. That still doesn't matter. I'm still talking about the context. Like you said, dude. How is it a job if you don't pay us? He's for <laughs> hey, well, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh dude. I'm oh, dude. I've made like nine bucks in the stream, and they're all mine. Dude, just <laughs> give me five cents. No. But listen. Like, Why? You can't even I give me a nickel? Sh shut up. Ben Connor's trying to make a point. I said the context doesn't matter because we we're talking about other people doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Like other people, you crying. So. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's keep watching. <sighs> Sorry. Just sounds like he's getting <laughs> fucked, dude. <laughs> you made it to this milestone yeah, with hard funny. work. But the fact that he's like proud of like the <laughs> shit he's done last year is also kind of funny. Just like I'm sorry, Ben's comment. I'm just imagining like behind the camera. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Ben's like, it sounds like he's getting plowed right now. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> uh. oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just get the words out, bitch. Perseverance. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't watch Ben. It sounds like he's being raped. Ben has ruined this video for me. I can't <laughs> watch it normally now. It sounds like he's being raped. Like, I close my eyes. I'm hearing him cry. He's like... What <laughs> 100K! <laughs> There's the cum shot. Ugh, this AIDS. This is disgusting. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I did it. <laughs> oh, Dude, it sounds oh, so oh, bad. <laughs> Just the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've made it to this milestone with hard work, <laughs> perseverance, and chances are, Jesus, a healthy sense of humor. But what you've what you've accomplished can't be taken away from you. Uh, yes, it can. If you go under. Sorry, I'm sure. Dude, it hurts. And I'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with the silver play button, a small token of our esteem and her and respect. I like how it's a copy paste and he's crying at it. <laughs> they listen to every single person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We know you don't do this for rewards. Somebody's being fucked though, really. To create shit. 
because you have found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem like a long way off right now. They don't give a you fuck. And, we, and we're rooting for you. David's in the chat. It's just a glorified email. Yeah, exactly. Sincerely, Susan Wojcicki, uh, CEO of YouTube. You'll learn to hate that name, bitch. That's really nice because that's like I said, it's. It's like he thinks this is actually Susan Wojcicki who wrote this personally for Monday exactly. Night. Exactly. Nah, dude, it exactly. got CC'd. <laughs> it's for you. She sent it out okay. to like 100 people at the same time. <laughs> uh, we just fucking get rid of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm a slobber <laughs> bitch. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna. Ah, dude, the noise. This goddamn thing, aren't I? All right, there's packaging. All right, and uh oh, there it is. It's heavier than I thought. Dude, legit, no context. Uh, listening to this. Congratulations. Look at, the, look at the fucking audio wave. Go back to whenever he holds the play button. Oh, there it is. Look at the fucking audio waves. It's heavier than I thought. fucking recording. Look at this. Wait, get ready? Get ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm down, I'm down, I'm so emotional. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Like you're to be mundane, motherfucker. Mundane, Matt. <sighs> Congratulations. Uh, mundane, Matt. Fuck off. <laughs> and ben, he's just sitting here crying. Ben just like <laughs> he's playing Rust because he's bored. Of no, that. I'm no joke playing Rust, and I'm playing freaking Deathmatch, and I'm getting fucking triggered. <laughs> ben, don't be on the show, motherfucker. You're just listening to this right now. Oh my gosh, Augie! If you don't cry, Madison says Augie. If you don't cry like this, you're so I gotta do a rendition of this. Like you I, gotta do a oh mean my gosh. version. Like I, make it a gay I, ass I, overlay like this and shit, and just go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That's surpassing one hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. SM dot TV. It's got a little bit of smudge on the bottom, but that's okay. What did he make? He's got a little bit of smudge on the bottom. All right. Cool. Shit, you, you put your hand on it to pick it up, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, that's uh, that was a lot harder than I thought. I uh, I didn't think. I was How is that hard? You fucking video, unbox something, you fucking pause, idiot. Like, no pause pause this real quick. Pause this real quick. He sounds like he just got done taking it in the ass for the first time. That was a lot Dude, of legit. Like How do you know like... what that sounds like? <laughs> you hear it all the fucking yeah. time from How do you think? Cunt. How do you think Jay Lee got three thousand on YouTube? All right, it's the same 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 way I got three thousand. All right. Dude, he took it, dude. Bob Ross. Oh my god. Uh, I need mean, fucking stupid Halo Bob content. Ross. I regret it. What did Bob Ross have to do with it? <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to know that's what you're thinking right now, Ben. <laughs> Dude, every single child molester was fucking Bob Ross. Dude, we can't do a band. <laughs> ah, hey. I think I think we should end this off soon. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Call it. This is Call a plaque. It. it can go on my wall. It can, it can stay there. I've got a spot right there. That's uh. That He's gonna be buried with that. Make sure I can. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I oh shit! I'm gonna break it. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go tack this motherfucker in. Uh, it's gonna uh, go beat it, dude. And everything. <laughs> but, li you know, listen. Um, I have a full-on hard on right now. Thank you. Just gonna go beat one out. What are you saying? <laughs> are you for real? I'm gonna, okay, I should probably go. No, for him. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were just. <laughs> That perfect pause. I thought, you, face. I thought you were just wait a minute. I thought you legit just told the stream that. No. <laughs> I'm, that's what he's saying. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Pause this for a second. He's got that cum face. Oh, hey, yo, stream, give me a moment here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how are we gonna take over the radio world with stuff like this happening? <laughs> Get rid of Panda. Uh, Keep me in Connor. Exactly. Yeah, but Connor's not any better right now as it well, is. Well, that's because he's late because he forgot what fucking day it was. 
If you can't remember what day it was, how can you speak any better, dude? Okay, then just me and Augie. There we go. There we go. Alright, cry more. Uh, oh, sorry. These are <laughs> tears of joy. It's been a very... It's been a very... No, it's that dragon dildo you're saying, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. And I cannot thank you... Enough. For... For everything. So... I will... I will talk to you guys later. Don't worry. I got more I got more videos incoming. You gay bitch. Hands tears. <laughs> I I can't wait to hit a million. Whatever Fuck. that may be, if it ever Dude, he's nowhere near close to a million doing the content he's making. Well, exactly. And the thing is is that there's so many people that are ahead of him, like he's just a speck. And the problem is he's got to do something different. Okay, not gaming because gaming is dead unless you actually make really good fucking content. Or uh, ninja. Commentary, that would be a good idea. If you edited, you did research, you well, had good commentary. He can't do commentary because he lost his ability to criticize people after the strike situation. So. so he's fucked. So he should go home, get a real job, be a man, take care of his family, and fuck off. Yeah, because he's ruined his chance. Yeah, he fucked everything, so it's over. GG, game over, motherfucker. Last GG, life. GG, dude. Bitch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well said. You know what? I think we're gonna make the new donation sound, Connor, on a uh, bitch on on his phone. I think we're gonna make the donation sound, Connor, on his phone, like screaming, like, "Mom, turn get turn on the internet, do an RC line." <laughs> Every time someone donates, it's like, "Mom." That's actually good. I like that. <laughs> dude, we should do that. It does happen, but it doesn't matter at this point in time. Right now, in this moment. <laughs> this means the absolute world to me. This is AIDS. Yeah, th this is Thank really you. sad. <sighs> this is sad. Have yourself a great day. Okay, I will. And peace out. Peace, bitch. Peace. <laughs> Is. Congratulations. It's right here, right on my wall, right next to my Ninja Turtles wall hang, and a Yoshi plushie. Okay. <laughs> That's how oh, sad yeah. your life it's, is. It's beautiful. Dude, his wall is so plain. That's all he has. Bitch! He's like Ninja Turtles, his plaque. No, in all honesty, I know where I would hang mine. Where were Jangers? I'll tell you when he shuts the fuck up. <laughs> All right. No, if if I was to do it, like where my camera angle is set up right now for my uh my actual webcam, right? It would be either behind bitch. me. It would be directly behind me or right next to my doorway <laughs> whenever I leave this room because it's like you reach that goal onto the next one. Yeah. But, well, anyways, like, I don't know where I'd hang mine because I'm by the time I get it, I'm not going to be in my situation where I am now, so I won't be in the closet. Uh. But you you won't be making the them sex Harry tapes, Potter dude. Basement? Yeah, I'll be in some basement in New Mexico somewhere. I don't know. Dude, you just de right. you just doxed yourself, dude. Yeah, new so by saying the words New Mexico, doxed. Heisenberg. Dude, Wesley's gonna come. All right, I think we should end this off, man. It's lagging for me. Let me see. Time to end it off, man. Alright, we got one more video to watch, but it's like 20 seconds, so don't worry. And then okay, we'll... 20 seconds. I'll give you 20 more seconds of my time. Boy, this is my show. I'll do 20 more hours if I want. We can go to callers. If so. Alright. Uh, uh, the thing froze for me. AIDS. Alright, uh, hold on. Thing froze for me. I gotta, I gotta restart it. I gotta jump it. Now we'll jump it out. Now jump it out. Alright, let's see. Fuck me in the ass. I'm about to win this game. Actually, that that's a great point, David. He will come out of the closet. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, everyone makes that and joke. It's where did so Connor go? Exactly, because we're gonna find out you're gay for Tobes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let me find the, the stream. Dude, gay for at Toby Blogs. <laughs> All right, I sent you guys the new link. A new motherfucker, a new link? Dude, because my thing froze. You uh. fucking bitch! <laughs>
32 kills. I fucking hate this kid. I hope he fucking gets eye cancer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right, I'm in are, here. are you guys in? I am. What? He's not. The new, I am. The new oh, pen. the new one? Oh. Yeah, the new one. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I really hope I'm going to be able to use any of that footage from the whole mundane map thing. Oh, yeah. Either way, I'm going to promote the podcast, so. Wait, wait, which one is it? Did you DM me a specific one, or no, is it in the group in, podcast? It's in, it's in the group. It's not RFC Live. It's the last one. Okay. Are you in? Okay, I'm in, technically. Where did Infamous Con Seahorse. Where did Connor go? Dude, I think he's having, like, some troubles right now, didn't he? He's he took too much Viagra, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I guess we'll watch then. This is what Mr. Medicare got Matt to say. Uh, Matt, I want you to say right now to the fucking, uh, to the stream. For oh, Dominic yeah, the soy Bezos. boy I want you to cook. Say, I am sorry. I am a soy filled bitch. Play it. I flagged your fucking videos. I am, sorry. I am sorry that I flagged them. No, I no, no. I am, no. For doing what you did, uh, I am sorry fine, I am fine, a soy filled fine. bitch and flagged your videos. I'm sorry I'm a soy <laughs> bitch. That, there we go. Put it no. on the soundboard. Uh, yeah. I love Jeremy. Put it on the soundboard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and they're friends. That's the thing. But well, he just, dude, he, no he mercy. Why are you playing music? What the fuck? No, I paused it because I accidentally played it all of a sudden. Why right. are you playing fucking gas music, dude? Dude, dude that's my stream music. Oh well, shit. This is Connor reconnecting. Hold up. Go to the colors. And... Alright, we're gonna Can we hurry up and end this shit? Because it's fucking late. Uh, yeah, I... yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll end it. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the colors music for like three minutes and. You guys, you want to call in? Hop in on the show. I'll tweet it out. And other than that, if we come back and there's no callers, we'll call it a show. So I'm going to go ahead and mute. Alright. Okay, boys. Uh, what are we going to...
I've almost slipped in on accident. Yo, what up, everyone? Wait, We're seriously? Back. Welcome back yeah. to the show. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so have you been keeping like a streaks number of how many times, dude? How many times have um, you done what? No. Oh, wait, wait, I how know. How many times you... do you estimate? Uh, oh, my Discord uh, was like... muted the entire time. There we are. Uh, what, 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 what are we uh, keeping streaks for? What are we... Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> the, the, stream, <laughs> the stream is like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. We're back, guys, from our <laughs> little uh, commercial break. We're back. And, uh, let's it's a little see. more than a commercial break. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, hurry up and, and add fucking add, uh, add callers, dude. All right, all right. We got Jamie in the calls. Let's go. Jamie, you're on the air. What you got? Jamie, are you there? <laughs> dude, every single call. Jamie... Me, Jamie. Dude, yeah. Connor, you got a nice freaking uh, pedo stash going right now, dude. I like it. You think so? I just... <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's up, Jamie? I've, I literally have not slept, and it's 6 a.m. Well, why didn't you sleep? Oh. You, you listen to RZ Live? You're a dedicated fan? <laughs> Just been up all night listening to you guys, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, look, what, what do you what do you, do you think of it? What do you, what do you think of our boy Mundane Matt over here? Who he was until you guys brought him up. For real. <laughs> 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 nice. Well, I mean, you know more about him than Connor, so that's what that's what's important here. Uh, what do you what do you what do you think of our boy Mundane Matt striking people uh, because he gets butt hurt over other people's opinions? And screwing over his friends. He's a good role model. Yeah, good guy. Good guy, Matt. <laughs> good guy, dude. <laughs> good, good plus rep. Oh my gosh. Oh, what about Ninja? We talked about Ninja for a bit and his uh his his weirdo uh his weird thing with girls is like, oh, I'm not gonna shoot the girls because I don't want to get caught flirting or something. Just a fucking virgin. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice. <laughs> I that's honestly my take. I think he's just weird. Since Wait, how old is he? How old is how old is Ninja? I don't know. <clears throat> Let me look that up. So let's let's just go with like twenty five, right? So he's twenty five, has makes six he's, figures a month and is still a virgin. He's, he's twenty seven years old, <laughs> makes six figures and is still a virgin. That yeah. that takes fucking dedication right there. <laughs> honestly, I respect that's, him. That's a fucking like that that's a skill for an application, dude. Honestly. Yo, can we have sex? And he's like, no, sorry, go to play Fortnite again tonight. Yeah, for real. Yeah, basically. Oh my gosh. He can only get sucked because he can't spend too much energy freaking doing anything else. Dude. <laughs> well, as he only dude, gets two hours he's, to sleep. He's gonna, he's gonna get more anorexic than me, like playing all that Fortnite all day. He streams for like 15 hours a day. It's AIDS. Dude, the rest of the time he's just fucking getting sucked, dude. Under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Why he while streaming to like 10 million people? He's just like, ah! Oh. He's like, oh, sorry, my dog just took a shit all over my carpet. Here, <laughs> here, come, come play the game. And she's like, conveniently under the fucking desk. <laughs> I don't think she came out under the desk, but I mean, you're, you're, you're entitled. Dude, that's what they want you to think, dude. They have like fucking El Chapo fucking like tunnels in that fucking house. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's AIDS. All right. Well, Jamie, do you have anything else tonight? Uh, or. In the morning for you? Fuck you guys for keeping me up. <laughs> well, How do we... Well, that's why you put the freaking phone brightness on freaking night mode or some shit. You probably already did that, you moron. Well, then freaking do something else that helps you sleep. <laughs> do something else. I mean, RFC Live awesome. should be putting you to sleep right now with this amazing commentary. Well, <laughs> dude, you have, you have anything else? Um, Ninja actually has AIDS, so that's why he's a virgin. Or well, kind of a virgin. Yeah, that's why he has, yeah, he has AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, he has anal warts, dude. It's just like an uh. infection, and it like crawled up his back to his nipples. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Alright, All right, well, I, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to uh, re <laughs> re relinquish you from, from the air here. Thank you for calling in. Peace, Jamie. Bye. But. All right, that was a let's journey. <laughs> what is this in the chat? Alki, can I have the Fortnite burger? What is this? 
I don't get it. What's Number the, 15. What's the Fortnite burger? Is this like some meme that's going right by my head? I don't know what the Fortnite burger is. No idea. <laughs> How's no one else calling in, dude? Dude, we need to get some more callers in here. If I wasn't a member, I'd be a caller every single show. <laughs> and I'd sh I'd show up like 10, 10 minutes early. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I mean, if no one else wants to call in, then I guess we'll, uh, we'll call. Well, who's even people. watching, first of all, so we can peer pressure someone? We actually got people in here. We got David, Madison, Nero, Mango, Sink. Everyone's here. Get everyone to join callers. Everyone join callers. Ben Madison. sounds like the Burger King guy. Oh, man. Who's the Burger King guy? The Burger King foot lettuce did. The number 15 did. Oh, dude, you're right. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> In the chat. Our one caller. Oh my gosh! All right. I mean, if that's that's the end of the show, there, then I guess we'll uh, we'll call it a wrap. Actually, I want to ask you guys. We've been gone for like a month now. How'd you guys enjoy the break from RSU Live? What'd you guys do? I loved it. <laughs> I loved it because I wasn't here. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, I did miss it a lot, but at the same time, I also had a really good break. What about you, Connor? I liked it a lot, dude. It's did you know how it is? Dude, we're on season two now. We're on the new school year. You guys ready for school? Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> kind of ish. Aren't you starting school, Ben? Uh, in like two days. Lamau. Dude, to it's, gonna, it, dude yeah. it's gonna be great, dude. The first like ten minutes I get there, I'm just gonna like sniff the hallways. <laughs> you gonna Jeez. freaking get a get a what? A female. Nah, dude, yeah, I'm, dude. dude I'm, I'm gonna get a trap, dude. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna get an it, dude. What is that? Dude, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna get three. Three, dude. That's it. And then I'll let you watch. I'm gonna remake the, uh, well, I appreciate the Discord that. server, dude. Dude, Connor's Harlem? Yeah, dude. Oh Except God. it's gonna be new and improved. It's gonna be Ben's Harlem, but it's gonna be nothing but traps. Exactly, dude. It's just gonna have, um, freaking Wesley in there, dude. <laughs> dude wesley's in a uh, jerry server and he just sits there and like adds me a lot and i don't dude i know it's so aids dude, i'm like why first off why is he in jerry server jerry should have banned him i'm a mod there technically i could ban him but i mean i wouldn't if, if him and jerry are friends or something then dude it's weird it's just weird i don't know it's like a three-way dude it's fucking weird as shit <laughs> he's like obsessed like i know like every youtuber does the argument oh he's obsessed with me or something to try to avoid criticism but like it's getting to the point where it's like, I think he's obsessed with me. Oh, okay, guys. This is the really pressing topic, right? Yeah. So, so you know how guys want three ways with two girls, right? So does yeah. does that mean that girls want a three way with two guys? Yeah. Or not? Well, no. Think about it. Do you want freaking two dicks in your fucking ass? <laughs> no, because I'm not gay. Well, no, no, no. You have to put yourself in the shoes of the 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 the, the female dude. Two dicks in your ass. Yeah, dude. Connor, Connor, you have expertise on this, dude. On two dicks okay, in your right. ass, okay? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's hear Connor's take on this. What do you think? You know who'd be Bril great for Bril this? Br brilliant take. A brilliant take. Wait, restate it again. I wasn't listening the first time. Oh, okay, so so guys <laughs> want a three-way with two girls, right? So does that mean girls want a three-way with two guys? F fucking hell connor what is with you do you have yeah dude he's getting freaking <laughs> dms dude. dude why is your audio such trash i'm on the phone because my goddamn what? wife i thought uh... you're on charlie's computer no the mic's not working head ass <laughs> what when, since when have you not oh that's aids then... wait how'd you listen to the how'd you listen to monday and matt then you didn't I on the computer for that but i just couldn't oh. use the mic on the oh okay i see that's really aids fix your stuff next time why was your brother on your computer? I would not let any of my Shh, just, hey, Let him answer the fucking question. What question? The fucking three-way one, dude. You know what? We'll continue this conversation offline. Thank you guys so much for <laughs> watching. I hope you enjoyed this killer episode. We, this is like the longest episode of RC Live. We went for like two hours, 15 minutes. Two hours, 15 minutes, you'll never get back. Yeah, I feel like Fuck. fucking cock, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have no callers, let me check. No callers, alright, see you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to give it a like. Uh, check out my boys over no here. Because your roommate blended up your router. What is that? <laughs> <It was eight. laughs>
<laughs> guys, you guys want to plug your stuff? You guys want to plug your stuff before we go? Uh, send nudes to uh, Addix <laughs> Panda. Um, yeah, definitely go follow me. Send nudes if obviously you're a trap. Uh, um, follow my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash xpanda. I don't stream on it, but just go ahead and follow it so I get the dopamine uh, release. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so AIDS. <laughs> What's well, Big Daddy Connor's turn? Follow me <clears throat> on uh, the big building where I have zero videos posted. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Boris Shar for becoming a sub on YouTube. Wait, I'm 18 now. I can make freaking. I can make a point. Whoa, <laughs> dude, 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 You gotta hook me up, dude. Yeah, after the call, though. Okay. Just, just Yo, guys, you. All right, all right, all right. Listen up, listen up. We, we, we got. All right, listen up. We we gotta head out. All right, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Fork got any like fucking more illegal than it was, dude. I try to look for goodness even when I see bad When I made my first beat tape I was tripping, I was thinking I could be great Four track test cam in my briefcase Back when I got my Jordan straight up out of East Bay I was just 15 with some big dreams Big shoes, big heart, no big screen Big talls, big balls, no fig leaves Double XL, well before I spit at 16 I was tripping, I was waiting for the right time I was tripping, I was looking for the right place I was tripping, I was searching for the right words Took a wrong turn, now my head is in the right space I was tripping, I was taking all the wrong pills. I was tripping, I was writing all the wrong wrongs. I was tripping, I was writing all the right songs. Looking for a miracle, you're fucking with the right one. I've seen some souls be friendly. I've seen some feet get loose. I've had some people in my life who know just what it do. I try to look for goodness, even when I see bad. Big bang, like a gunshot, then the fall came, and we all stopped, never school for the fools when the sun dropped, we were having mad fun running from the young cops, I was on that low brow, thinking too much, cynicism hit me early like the cold crush, did the knowledge into college and I froze up, realized I ain't even working on my post up, had a good shot though. With a big chip, but my shoulders would be holding to that dope shit. I was thinking about rhymes, I was dreaming about beats, I was biding my time, I was sowing these seeds. I was too cold to know that I ain't old enough, too grown to know that I ain't growing up. Two tones was home, so just throw it up. Black Paisley is back, so just pull it up. I've seen some souls be friendly, I've seen some feet.